good evening everyone so there is one more evening is here and i welcome everyone to the amaya national seminar with paper and poster presentation presented by team samiksha and starting our today session let me introduce our panel members first i would like to invite our Alpadandra panel, Dr. Viana and Dr. Pilash. Next, I invite our first of the panel, Dr. Sujitra, Dr. Reshmiya, and Dr. Sridhi. Next, I invite Prasujitra Dr. panel, Dr. Deepi, Dr. Sri Lakshmi, and Dr. Krishna Priya. Next, I invite our Kaumara Pratya panel, Dr. Ardi Dinashekhar, Dr. Sulada Andakumar, and Dr. Rajanish. Uh, next. First, we go to the first presentation. First, I would like to invite Dr. Shayada Ramachandra Vadre for the poster presentation on the topic Anishastra. Dr. Shayada, are you there? Dr. Shayada? Hello. Hello. Doctor, please start the session. Hello. Am I audible to you? Oh, audible, Doctor. Audible. Okay. Thank you. Um... Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Shweta Ramchandra Mahatre. Uh, I'm PG student of Shalya Tantra department. My topic is on Anushastra. Uh, Anushastra ni tu vakka sara spati ka kaacha puruvinda jaloka agni shara nakha goji shefalika shaka patra karira pala angula yaiti. Anushastra karma means surgical procedure performed by non-surgical items or instrument in absence of surgical instrument. These are parasurgical procedure. Acharya Shustruta describe, describe different Anushastra. These are Tvakasara, Spatika, Kacha, Karuvinda, Jaloka, Agni, Shara, Nakha, Gujipatra, Shefalika Patra, Shaka Patra, Karira, Anku, Ankura, Bala, Anguli, etc. Shara Karma, Agni Karma, Jaloka, Charan are important Anushastra Karma. Anushastras are effectively used in management of different surgical conditions. It is equally useful to diagnose Hello, the different types of... Hello? Uh, doctor, screen, uh, are you screen sharing? Yes, I'm sharing my screen. It's not visible, Doctor. Screen is not visible. Okay, one second. Okay, Doctor. Is it visible now? Not visible, Doctor. Uh, one second. Yes, doctor. Now is your screen is visible, doctor. Okay. Uh, Anushastra are effectively used in management of different surgical condition. It is equally useful to diagnose the different types of sinus and fistula. Shara karma. Shara is medicine obtained from ash of different plants. Shara is best among Shastra and Anushastra. Pratisarni and Shara are mainly used in wound management for a Vrana Shodhan. Shara Sutra and Sharvati is also used in wood management. In Nadi Vrana Bhagandar, we can use Shara Sutra as a treatment. Uh, Agni Karma, it is a second important Anushastra. These are mainly tools of Agni Karma like Pipli, Teeth of Animals, Shalaka, Sneha, Padra, Ghee, Taila, Guda, Honey. Agni Karma is useful in Sandigatvata, Avabahu, Brudrasi, etc. Jaloka Charan, in Jaloka Charan, Leech, that is Jaloka is used for Rakta Moksha. Jaloka is generally applied around wound, skin, infection. Rakta Moksha reduce the pain and suppress the swelling. Anguli and Karira finger is also used as Anushasa in, main, in many places. Vimlapana is a process where mild massage done by Anguli. Digital examination is done to reduce, to rule out abnormalities like hemorrhoids, uh, stricture, fistula, rectal prolapse. Finger also used as a substitute for Eshni. Karil Nala is used to diagnose Nadi Vrana, Chalaika Yukta Vrana. 
पत्र दैट इज लिफ श्रीफालिका एंड शाख पत्र आर काइंड ऑफ रफ लिफ आर यूज हेज लेखन कर्म इन गुण को जीवा पत्र परशुंगार पत्र सागवान पत्र आर यूज फॉर विस्त्रावर इन डिसीज ऑफ आईलेट्स बाल बाल ऑफ डिफरंट एनिमल्स लाइक हॉर्स एंड डिफरंट प्लांट्स फाइबर्स आर यूज फॉर सुचरिंग स्वक सारस फटीक काच पूर्वबिंद आर यूज इन ऑब्सटेंस ऑफ सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर छेदन एंड भेदन कर्म थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर श्वेता Okay, doctor. Next, we go to the next presentation. Next, I would like to Dr. Sujada Hanuman Londe for the post presentation on the topic stage of wound healing. Dr. Sujada, are you there? Hello. Hello, doctor. Please Hello. Am I audible? Audible, doctor. Your voice is clear, doctor. Okay. it is visible not visible doctor screen is not visible doctor हेलो डॉक्टर आर यू तेयर हेलो डॉक्टर ओके नेक्स्ट वी गेट टू द नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर कैन यू हेयर मी हाँ हाँ वन सेकेंड ना ओके डॉक्टर इज इट विजिबल Yes, doctor. Now your screen is visible. Stages of wound healing: replacement of destroying tissue by living tissue is called wound healing. Stages of wound healing: hemostasis, inflammatory, proliferative, and remolding. Hemostasis: the mechanism of hemostasis can be divided into four stages: constriction of the blood vessel, formation of temporary platelet plug, activate of the coagulation, formation of fibrin plug. This is second stage of inflammatory stage. Inflammation is the second stage of wound healing and being right after the injury when the injured blood vessel leak transduction causing localized swelling cell recrement wound debridement third stage is proliferation stage the proliferative phase of wound healing is when the wound is rebuilt with new tissue made up of collagen and extracellular matrix third stage remolding stage remolding or also known as maturation phase is the fourth and final phase in wound healing and last from 21 days up to 2 year in in final and longest phase collagen synthesis is ongoing in order to strengthen the tissue हेलो डॉक्टर हेलो डॉक्टर कैन यू हियर मी कैन 
I think it is a network pro network problem. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Prajeev Bharat Kadu on the paper presentation on the topic Effect of Janu Vasi and Nadi Sayadhan in Janu Sandhikadavada, a case study. Doctor, hello. Doctor, please start the session. Doctor Prajeev, are you there? Hello, Doctor Prajeev, are you there? Okay, next I would like to invite Dr. Sonia for the paper presentation on the topic Indriya Bhakramaniya Adhyaya. Dr. Sonia, are you there? Hello, am I audible? Yes, Dr. Audible and your um, PPT is also visible, Dr. Please start the session. Okay. I just, okay. So my paper presentation topic is on Indra Kramya Adhyaya. The title for this paper presentation is A Brief Review on Indra Kramya Adhyaya. So myself, Sonia Gidam, PD Scholar of Rational Child Department, Sumati Bhaisha Ayurved Mahavidyalaya, Harapsar Pune. My guide, Dr. Nilesh. The abstract for this paper is Indra Kramya Adhyaya is the eighth chapter of Sutra Sthan in Chak Samhita. It belongs to the Swastha Chatushka. Here the word Swastha translates to being healthy. In this chapter, Indriya, the Rajasthan is given. How they are connected to Mana is given. About Mana, its Guna and Vishaya are mentioned. Sadhvritta and its importance is mentioned in this chapter. Things one must do and things one must not do comes under Sadhvritta. And why this lesson must have been included under, under Swastha Chatushka, we will discuss about it. Main two things of this chapter, it is divided into two, about Indriya and about Sadhvita. So let's see it. Indriya Kramya Adhyaya. It is the last lesson of the Swastha Chatushka. Sharak Samhita Sutrasthan is divided into Chatushkas. Here the Chatushka refer to quadruplet, that is, it has four lessons each. The first three chapters of Swastha Chatushka gives information about Ahar, Dhinacharya, Ritacharya, urges, which should be suppressed and which shouldn't be suppressed. And this fourth lesson tells us about Indriya. But why this chapter must have been included in this Chatashka? To answer this, let us look at the further shloka. Samadosha samagnesha, samadhatu malakriyaha, prasanna atma indriya manaha, swastitya vidhyate. This shloka is from Sushit Samhita Sutra Sang, 15th lesson, 10th shloka. It states that when the three fundamental entities, that is, dosha, fire, that is, agun, and body matter are in their natural quantity and quality with healthy mind only then the person is considered healthy i would like to emphasize on prasanna atma indriya manaha only then that the person is considered swastha like if we see if we have all the three things samadosha sama agni samadhati in natural quality and quantity but the other are not then the person cannot be considered as swastha Indriya Upakramya. This word can be divided into Indriya Upakrama. Indriya. Indriyam iti jnana karma sadhana. It's taken from Shabda Karma Kalpadurma. Indriya helps us to gain information about our surroundings and also the processed information tells us how to react. That is jnana and karma. Upakramaha. Upayaha. Yatha. Samadibihi Upakramahi iti manu. This is also taken from Shabda Kalpadurma. This definition from Shabda Kalpadrama, here Manu says that Upakrama is something which is started with good intention. Indriyas are further divided into Nanendriya and five Karmendriya. Five Nanendriya, five Karmendriya, and one Atiendriya. Karmendriyas are the organs that interact with the material world the feet, father, move, the hands, pani, grasp, grasp and holds, the rectum, payu, eliminates, the genitals, upastha, procreate. And the mouth walk, speaks. Nyanendriya, that is the panchan nyanendriya include the nose, 
घ्राण आईज चक्षु टंग रसना स्किन त्वक एंड इयर्स श्रोत्र वर्ध अतिन्द्र यू शैल सी इन फॉर द स्लाइड्स लेट सी द श्लोक अब फर्स्ट पंच 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 इंद्रिया पंच इंद्रिय द्रव्या पंच इंद्रिय अधिष्ठान पंच इंद्रिय अर्थ पंच इंद्रिय बुद्धि Let us say about five Nana Indra next. So here, all the five Nana Indra, five Indras are given. Their Dravya, their Adhisthan, their Artha, and Buddhi, and the Mahabhut, which are associated with the particular Indra, are given. So let us start with Shrodra. Shrodra Indra has Dravya Akash, Adhisthan Karna, Indra Artha Shabd, Indra Buddhi, Shrodra Buddhi, and the Mahabhut associated with it is Akash. Sparshan Indra, the Dravya associated with it is Vayu. Adhisthan is Tvacha. Indra Artha is Sparsha. Indra Buddhi is Sparshana Buddhi, and Mahabud associated with it is Vayu. Chakshu Indra, Chakshu Dravya. Sorry, Indra Dravya of Chakshu is Jyoti. Adhisthan is Akshi. Indra Artha is Rupa. Indra Buddhi is Chakshu Buddhi, and Mahabud is Tej. Indra Rasana, Indra Dravya is Ap. Indra Adhisthan is Jiva, Indra Artha is Rasa, Indra Buddhi is Rasana Buddhi, Mahabud, which is dominant in it, is Chala Mahabud, Grana Indra, Gran, uh, Indra for Grana is Prithvi, sorry, Dravya for Grana is Prithvi, Adhisthan is Nasika, Indra Artha is Ganda, Indra Buddhi is Grana Buddhi, and the Mahabud dominant in it is Prithvi Mahabud. So there are many questions regarding mana. What do mana do? How it can affect our body? What are the vishya, karya, and guna of mana? Why is mana considered as an ati indriya? Do we have one mana or two or many more? What is the relationship between mana and indriya? Many times the question arises like mana is one or two because one at a time we are at one place and in a fraction of seconds we can be at another place. So that's the question. Indrias correlate with the five elements respectively: earth, water, fire, wind, ether. That is Prithvi, Ap, Tej, Vayu, Akash, the Panchamahabhi. Simultaneously, impressions of the Indrias are coordinated with the mind, as both Manindra and Karmendra relay information with the help of Mana. Mana is stated as the eleventh Indra, that is Atiendra. Here, Rukti. Manneti avabodhite dnyati ani na iti mana. मना है चेष्ट इंफॉर्मेशन इज रिलेट टू माना एंड द प्रोसेसिंग इज डन बाय दैट टू समथिंग राइट यू हैव टू पुट योर माइंड इन टू इट विदाउट अटेंशन दैट इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ माना फॉर यू डू नॉट फंक्शन प्रॉपरली गुना एंड विशन ऑफ माना पीपल कंसिडर सत्व रज तम एज गुना ऑफ माना But according to Ayurveda, Sattva is the only guna, while the other two are doshas. The guna of mana are ekatvam and anuttam. We will know about the mana doshas and how it can affect our body in the further slide. Mana cha vishe, vishe of mana. Chintam uy, vicharam uyam cha dhiram sankalpam eva cha. These are the five vishe of mana. Dosha. Raja and tama are the dosha of mana. रजस तमश्च मानसो दोषो तो विकार द विकार विच आर प्रोड्यूस बिकॉज ऑफ दीज दोष आर काम क्रोध लोभ मोह ईर्षा मान मद शोक चिंता द्वेग भय हर्ष इत्यादि दिस वन इज टेकन फ्रॉम चरक विमान स्थान सिक्स बाय फाइव द श्लोक स्टेट्स दैट रजन तम रिलेटेड टू मना इफ रजन तम एन एक्सेस इन कंपेरिजन टू सफ गुना दिन द फीलिंग्स लाइक चिंता शोक भय क्वालिटी This is how these feelings can affect us ultimately your body and health, making you vulnerable to and prone to disease. 
that is why food taken when you are affected by these vikaras do not contribute to your health now sadhrutta sadhrutta is also the important part of this chapter human being being a social animal some rules he must follow the illustrations given in this picture is uh, sadhrutta being telling what one one must do and was one must not do he must always respect his elders almost always, always take part always help others and should not lie sadhrutam santam sajjananam vrutta acharan how one behaves is given in sadhrut sukarta sarva bhutana matah sarva pravrtaya sukham cha vina dharma smat dharma par bhavit this one is taken from ashtanga vedas sutra 2 by 10 the shlok above states that every human being seeks happiness seeks for happiness but they do not know that without dharma happiness cannot be achieved here dharma doesn't mean any religion it means the one, the way one behaves in society following the social conduct hence one who desires to promote his own well being should follow the entire code of good conduct fully and cautiously it can also state that achara pratamo dharma sadhurta states things one must do and one must know way to behave in society it states things one must do one must not do one must do to worship god elderly people on a fire one must put on auspicious herbs one should wash daily twice one should always wear untoned clothes use flowers and fragrance dressing should be gentle should apply oil to head ear nose and feet daily one should take initiative in talk and remain cheerful one should have presence in mind presence of mind even in difficult situations one should speak useful measured sweet and meaningful words one should be controlled free from anxiety fearless wise devoted to teachers and so on things one must not do one must not lie nor should take over others possession one should not desire for other women or others property one should not be inclined to enmity should not be vicious even to sins one should not speak out others defects nor should try to know others secret one should not keep company of the unvirtuous hated by the kings lunatics fallen persons or wicked one must not ascend on defective vehicles sleep on bed not covered with bed sheet and many things one must do, not do are given in it in the swastha in the swastha chatushka achara charak tells us about ahar matra about lifestyle in specific rutus about adharnya and dharnya vega and about indriya and mana the only intention of the acharya of the is for the person to be swasth and have arogya have live a long life for a long time but the person can only die if he doesn't follow the social rules if he goes against authority all the aspects are given even considering food ruto and things he must do and not do so that he would be healthy considering all the aspects in 360 degree this is my presentation thank you yes okay doctor next we go to the poster presentation next i would like to invite dr gaudi ravindra deshpande for the paper poster presentation on the topic emotional allergy dr gaudi are you there uh, yes sir okay doctor please start the session yes just a second okay doctor yeah uh is my uh, screen is visible visible doctor screen is visible doctor okay uh good evening everyone i'm vidya gauri deshpande pg scholar of rsbk department from ssam college pune maharashtra today i'm going to present a poster on emotional allergy under the guidance of vidya pritam itnar uh, it is a rapid review of a published articles concerning psychology and allergy a condition in which the immune system reacts abnormally to a foreign substance is known as allergy we all know the types of allergy that is drug allergy food allergy contact dermatitis latex allergy allergic asthma seasonal allergies and animal allergies 
drug allergy that is uh, an abnormal reaction of the immune system to a medication or any kind of drug food allergies it is an uh, unpleasant or dangerous immune system reaction after a uh, certain food is taken contact dermatitis it is a skin rash caused by contact with certain substances latex allergy it is an allergic reaction to certain protein found in natural rubber latex allergic asthma asthma triggered by exposure to the same substances that trigger allergy symptoms seasonal allergies it is an allergic response causing itchy watery eyes sneezing and uh, other similar symptoms animal allergy is an abnormal immune reaction to protein in an animal's skin uh, skin cells saliva or urine doctors and scientists have long suspected a connection between allergies and the sight uh, in 1940 doctors discovered that allergic patient could be tricked into experiencing allergic attacks in one case doctor exposed a patient to a golden uh, rod plant without telling the patient that the uh, plant was artificial the patient immediately developed sneezing runny nose and nasal congestion the symptoms resolved quickly uh, once the doctor revealed his deception to the patient in 1958 uh, observations such as this stimulated inter interest in hypnosis as a possible treatment for allergies in uh, 1950 58 the prestigious medical journal the lancet reported a case of woman whose allergies were cured by hypnosis but initial enthusiasm for this technique won after other doctors were unable to replicate the, uh, these results eventually hypnosis was uh, prohibited as a treatment for allergies in 1990 doctors continued to note a high incidences of apparently psychosomatic uh, symptoms among allergic patients in a british survey of more than 10000 people conducted in the 1990s for example 20% indicated that they developed itching highs and other allergic uh, symptoms in response to various foods but fewer than 2% reacted uh, this food on formal skin testing in 2011 placebo studies have proven uniquely useful in differentiating psych uh, psychic symptoms from allergic ones in 19, uh, 2011 investigators studied the effect of placebo inhalers in patient with mild to moderate asthma a condition that frequently coexist with allergies they found that patient perceived uh, the same degree of relief with the placebo inhalers as they did with the actual asthma inhalers yet their lung infection taste uh, taste improved only with the active medication In 2018 German study confirmed the effectiveness of placebo in patient with allergic rhinitis the medical name of high fever allergic symptoms such as itch, itching sneezing and runny nose improved even though the patient were aware that they were receiving a placebo ayurveda has clearly mentioned the relationship between mana and swasthya and since 5000 years bc till date date that is till 2020 we are following the ayurvedic principles in ayurvedic classical text while describing the swastha lakshan they have mentioned prasanna atma indriya manaha swastha iti abhidiyate along with the sama dosha agni dhatu mala kriya prasannata of man is also taken in consideration as we all know mano arth that is objects of man are chintya vicharya uhya dheya sankalpa that is thoughtfulness logical reasoning and discrimination logical interpretation goal and aim and determination and karma of man are indriya abhinigraha svanigraha uhya vichar indriya abhinigraha means perception and motor control if our man is not in proper soulful joyful that is in prasanna condition then it will give wrong directions or it will misguide our body metabolism for sure while treating the patients in opd many times we see that patient patients allergic condition worsens with his mental or emotional stress increase in emotional stress leads to increase in 
pre-existing allergic condition. From the above, it can be concluded that emotions or stress do not uh, stress do not cause allergies, but emotional factor can make allergies better or worse. On other hand, Ayurveda promotes boosting of internal immunity by taking measures like consuming a healthy diet, incorporating a favorable lifestyle by following Dinacharya and Ruticharya. Besides that, taking potent herbal mineral medicines for diseases like allergies and undergoing rejuvenating Ayurvedic treatments have already proven better. Ayurvedic lifestyle is best choice to prevent allergies. After all, prevention is better than cure. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Next is a paper presentation. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Sunil for the paper presentation on the topic Management of Udartha through Ayurveda, a case report. Dr. Sunil, are you there? Hello, yes, sir. Uh, doctor, please start the session, doctor. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, good evening one and all. Uh, today I'm going to present on a case report, management of Udarda, Articaria through Ayurveda, guided, and, uh, guided by Dr. Giris KJ, Professor SDM CH Hassan. So the patient is a 26 year old uh, patient. Uh, he was an engineer by occupation. So the patient presented with a skin, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, introduction. Introduction, uh, skin disorders are a common medical issue that affects the people of all ages. Uh, it affects the physical and psychosocial health, thereby, uh, thereby causing the significant impact on the, uh, impact on the quality of life. Articular is a uh, transient condition of the skin caused by an allergic reaction, characterized by erythematous elevated patches with severe itching. Udarda is a vadi that can be co uh, closely correlated uh, to articaria in a modern science. Lifetime prevalence is 7.8 to 22.3% and the exact prevalence in India is not known. So the patient was a 26 year old patient. Uh, he is an engineer by his occupation. So he is presented with the elevated arrhythmatous skin lesions all over the body associated with the itching, occasional mild burning sensation since two months. So Anupandi Vedanas were occasional, occasional swelling over lips and eyelids. Uh, since two months, occasional nausea and sore belching since two months. So Vedana Ruttanta, the patient was apparently healthy uh, two months back. He was uh, he's not known case of uh, hypertension and diabetes mellitus. Suddenly he observed arrhythmatous elevations all over the body associated with the severe itching after consuming spicy oily food and uh, non-vegetarian food at hotel. Uh, he consulted a, uh, at a local hospital and the lesions subsided after taking antihistamines. So after 15 days, he noticed the swelling over his his lips and eyelids which subsided on medication the same medication he uh, what we have taken before so but symptoms used to reappear on intake of uh, outside food so for this complaint he approached sdm uh, for the treatment so poor vaidhitrutanta and kautipika rutanta were not uh, nothing relevant uh, he, he used to take uh, antihistamines that's just kisa rutanta so vaikika rutanta diet is mixed uh, appetite is adequate boil is regular mixturation is regular so the sleep was adequate uh, he used to consume alcohol uh, uh, occasionally. So, integrated system examinations, uh, ins uh, inspection, uh, distribution, lesions over the back, chest, and bilateral arms and legs, types of primary lesions or articular rashes, size of lesions 2 cm to 10 cm wide, and the test for dermatographism is absent. So, these are the patient pictures, so what he was uh, presented with, the completely black, uh, back of his uh, covered with articular rashes and hands and the palm also. So, the differential diagnosis, uh, the, uh, we, we consider Sita Pitta and Udarda Kota. So, here Sita Pitta, more of the Vata Pradhana, uh, Udarda is Kapha Pradhana and Kapha is, uh, sorry, uh, Kota is Kapha and Rakta Pradhana. So Toda is will be Toza will be present in the Sita Pitta, Kandu and Vamana is more in Udarta, and excessive Kandu is present in the Kota. Kinchit Mandalutpati will be present in the Sita Pitta, Avastika Mandalutpati will be present in the Udarta, Avastika Rakta Mandalutpati will be present in the Kota. 
uh, Sita Pitta will aggravate an intake of Sheeta and Ushna alongside. Udarda will aggravate in the Shishira Ruttu. And Kota is uh, aggravates on uh, Vamana Yoga and Chardi Vega Dharana. So Sheeta Pitta will be Ashikari. Uh, Udarda is subacute and the co uh, Kota is the chronic conditions. The final, uh, sorry, final diagnosis uh, we did as uh, Udarda. So the patient, uh, first day and second day, we have given for uh, Deepana Pasana with the Chitra Kadivati and the Jira Kajala and uh, Trifla tablet. So after third to seventh day, uh, sorry, after third day, uh, for uh, till seventh day, we have given Sneha Pana with the Moosita Grutha as 40 ml, 90 ml and 130 ml, 170 ml, uh, 200 ml. And from day eight to day 10, uh, uh, that the two days, the Sarvanga Abhanga with Esti Madhu Taila, Dashmala Kwata Parishika we have done. So on seventh day, uh, before that, we have given Sarvanga Abhanga with Esti Madhu Taila and Dashmala Kwata Parishika and then uh, uh, given Rajna with the Manibhadra Goda 35 grams with the Draksha Kasha 100 ml. So uh, after the uh, total, the patient got uh, 16 Vegas. After that, uh, discharge of medicine, we have advised him Panchatikta Gugulu Gurta, 15 ml OD before food. Nimbadi Gugulu, uh, 1 TID after food. Tablet Trifala, 1 HS uh, uh, at bedtime. Marchadi Tela, external application before bath. So Patya Apatya advised, uh, Patya advised Purana Shali and Dadima, Shigru, Madhu, uh, Madhu Langana and Abhanga advised. Apatya uh, told to not to take uh, Ikshvikara, Madhya, Mamsahara Sevana, Dugda Vikara, Saviruddha Bhojana uh, and told to not to do Chardi Vyagadarana, Sheetha Vayu Sevana. So after a uh, follow-up uh, visit, uh, the patient, uh, 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 the intensity was reduced and but still the uh, rhythmatous lesions were used to come. So after that, uh, he was somewhat stressed because of this and we have given Brahmi Grita and Patola Patroenadi Kashaya and Kashura Gugulu and the Haritaki tablet. Uh, after uh, one month, the patient uh, was again followed up. So that time the patient was, uh, the articular intensity was uh, reduced uh, more than 75%. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sunil. Thank you. Next is also a perfect presentation. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Pallavi Uttamphabale for the paper presentation on the topic application of Bidalaga in allergic conjunctivitis, a case study. Dr. Pallavi? Yes, sir. Please start the session, Doctor. Okay, sir. Next. Shina. Doctor, your screen is Am I audible? Audible, Doctor. And your screen, screen is also visible. Please start the session. Uh, my my name is uh, Pallavi Uttam Papade, PG student, MS Shalaketantra, SSTI, Rhythma with Dele Sangamner. My guide and HOD name is Anil Deshmukh. My topic of paper presentation is uh, applic application of Bidalaka in allergic conjunctivitis, a case study. Introduction. Uh, in Ayurveda, many types of Netroga is due to Abhishanda. There is various types of Abhishanda. Uh, Vatoj and Kapha Abhishanda are more likely seen. As per sign and symptoms, Kapha Abhishanda is more or less can be compared with allergic conjunctivitis. It is characterized by intense Shota, Snigdha, Sveta, Pichila, Ashrusrava, Alpavedana, Nidra, Kandu, etc. Acharya Charka has indicated Bidalaka in eye diseases with Raga, Shopada, Hence, Bidalaka is line of treatment for Kapha Jabhishanda. In modern text, uh, inflammation of the conjunctiva refers Allergic conjunctivitis is inflammation of conjunctiva due to allergy. Huh. However, in developing countries, uh, it still continues to be the commonest type of conjunctivitis. Symptoms occur ocular uh, itching, eyelid swelling, hearing, auditory discharge, photophobia, and foreign body sensation. Uh, the allergic response is uh, of event that is uh, coordinated by mast cell. When histamine is released from mast cell, it binds to 
H1 receptor or on nerve endings and cause the ocular symptoms and uh, symptoms of itching. Histamine also binds to H1 receptors and conjunctival vasculature and uh, causes vasodilation. Treatment consists of antihistamine mast cell stabilizer due to mechanism anti-allergen agent or topical antihistamines. Tricky. No iPads, no steroid use of dark goggle. Dr. Pallavi, can you hear me? I think it was a network problem. Dr. Pallavi, can you hear me? Okay, next we we'll go to the next presentation. It's a paper presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Sashi Sudeha for the paper presentation on the topic role of Ayurveda in the management of allergy. Doctor, are you there? Yes, sir. Doctor Palavi, please start the session, Doctor. Okay, sir. materials and methods case history a 50 years old female patient came to outpatient department of with with complaining of swelling both eyes redness itching discharge with mild to moderate pain he had acute onset of above symptoms since four to five days on ocular examination visual acuity of both eyes were found to be uh, six six and six six partial Eyeball movements were normal. Conjunctival congestion were observed. Uh, other all sclera, cornea, iris, pupil, and anterior chamber were found to be normal. On the basis of clinical signs and symptoms, patient was diagnosed with allergic conjunctivitis and advised Bidalaka for five days using mustak, agru, chandana powder, and mother. Uh, Bidalaka. Bidalaka is one of the ocular therapeutic of Ayurveda in which drugs are made into paste form and applied to the outer surface of eyelids, leaving the eyelashes. Uh, the paste is left on site until it starts uh, drying for 20 to 25 minutes. Medicine applied on the outer surface of lids is absorbed by the skin to a greater extent, reaching to subcutaneous tissue and uh, local temperature, thereby reduce inflammation, uh, impairing soothing effect and uh, reduces the relieving pain. Uh, since tissue contact time is more, Bidalaka helps in large absorption of drug and uh, bioavailability will be enhanced. Since the drugs have anti-infective, analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties, patient could get quick relief from the symptoms. Uh, observation and result. On complete treatment of uh, five days, it uh, was noted uh, that eyelid swelling were subside, redness were slightly reduced in both the eyes, which were uh, clearly seen in the photographs. Next is discussion. Allergic conjunctivitis is the inflammation of conjunctiva due to allergy. As for modern science, treatment consists of antihistamine, must 
सेल स्टेबिलाईजर ड्युएल मेकॅनिझम अँटी एलर्जिक एक्शन एजंट और टॉपिकल अँटी हिस्टमाइन्स व्हेरज इन आयुर्वेदा बिडालका इज द लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट फॉर कफज ऑबिशन द एलर्जिक कंजेंटिव्हायटीस सो द पेशंट ऑज इन्क्लुडेड फॉर बिडालका इज द लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट फॉर कफज ऑबिशन द इट इज एलर्जिक कंजेंटिव्हायटीस कन्क्लुजन इज एलर्जिक कंजंक्टिव्हायटीस इज अ व्हेरी कॉमन इन एलर्जिक इन्फेक्ट इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द आईज सोर्स ऑफ एलर्जिक इन्फेक्शन कॅन बी लोकल सिस्टमिक ऑर एक्सटर्नल एन्व्हायरमेंट ऑल्सो इन आयुर्वेदा अभिशंदा इज मेन्शन इन संसर्ग ज्वायदी क्लिनिकल असेसमेंट अँड डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द सेम इज व्हेरी इसेन्शियल दो हिस्ट्री टेकिंग इन आयुर्वेदा बिडालका विथ द सिलेक्टेड ड्रग्स प्रोव्हाइड अँटी इन्फेक्टिव्ह अनाल्जेसिक अँड अँटी इन्फ्लमेटरी अँड सुदिंग इफेक्ट टू सम एक्सटेंट विच शोतग्न कंडुग्न कफग्न द्रव्य विच हेल्प इन रेड्युसिंग शोत वेदना अँड रागा चंदन इज कंडुग्न कफग्न द्रव्य इट रेड्युसेस इचिंग अँड बर्निंग सेन्सेशन मद इज त्रिदोषग्न द टिश्यू कॉन्टॅक्ट टाईम अँड बायबिलिटी ऑफ द ड्रग्स यूज इन प्रोसिजर लाईक बिडालका इज मोर सो लार्ज ऑब्झर्शन ऑफ ड्रग टेक प्लेस देअर फॉर बिडालका इज वन अमॉंग द अदर क्रियाकल्प फॉर एलर्जिक कंजेंटिव्हायटीस ऍज पर आयुर्वेदा सायन्स हिअर इज द रेफरन्सेस थँक्यू सर थँक्यू डॉक्टर पल्लवी नेक्स्ट इज ए पेपर प्रेझेंटेशन Next, I would like to invite Dr. Neha Devidas Mehar for the paper presentation on the topic Vishakne Leva Treatment in Vishichikilsa with respect to Drikatrais, a review under the Agathadantra panel. Dr. Neha? Hello. Hello, Hello Dr. Your voice is low, Dr. Hello. Ah, okay. Am I audible, sir? Audible, Dr. Audible. Okay. Uh... just one minute sir sure doctor sure my screen is visible screen is visible doctor please start the session okay uh, hello myself dr neha devidas meher i am from agatantar department my guide is dr vikram supugde i am from sumti bai sha ayurvedic college hadapsar pune my topic is vishagna leper treatment in visha chikitsa with special reference to bruhatrais a review abstract as we all know agatantra is the one of the major branch of ashtang ayurved in agatantra various vishagna lepers are described in visha chikitsa vishagna lep is used in the treatment of stavar visha jangam visha gara visha and dushi visha Lep- leper plays vital role in local application and prevention of further spread of poison with special reference to bruhatrais here we describe importance of vishagna leper mode of application action and list of vishagna leper introduction skin is the largest organ in the body and works as a project, uh, protective barrier skin prevent entry of microorganisms toxins and foreign substances in the body sign and symptoms of any poisoning is external or internal or both the external signs and symptoms appear on the skin in the form of local pain swelling rashes itching and various skin lesions treating these external signs and symptoms is important in the management of the poisoning the modern medical science treated these skin lesions with the application of analgesic antibiotic and anti allergic topical applications in ayurveda the leper treatment is beneficial for such skin lesions in the treatment of poisoning the vishagna lepers are used in visha chikitsa lepers are considered as basic and important treatment and well described in brihatrais they destroy the harmful effect of the poison locally prevent the further spread of poison and neutralize the poison after that the poison doesn't enter the, in the body in the poisonous cases the local area of bite shows various changes such as inflammations blisters vesications 
This can be treated by Vishangna lepa. Lepa will absorb remaining amount of poisoning at the bite site. It is used in the treatment of sour wish, jangam wish, and krumi wish. Lepa is defined as ardra dravya or shushka dravya with water are ground well and is made into paste are used externally are called lepas synonyms a lepa lipta lepa and lepana types of lepa sushrut describe three types pralepa pradeha alepa sharangda describe vishagna doshagna and varnya vagbhat describe snehika nirvapana prasadana stambana vilayan pachana pidana shodana ropana sarva ekanara vishagna lepa definition the lep which destroys the effect of poison is known as vishagna lepa vishagna lepa is the one of the chikitsa upakram among the, among the uh, chatur vyunshati upakram according to charak sanhita in sushru sanhita and vagvat sanhita I also explain importance of lepa chikitsa in a vishabada mode of application lepa should always be applied in the opposite direction of the hair follicles the drugs get quickly absorbed through hair roots sweat glands and capillaries freshly prepared lep should be used the lepa should not be applied at night and should not be left in situ after drying it must be removed as soon as it dries up lepa should be applied only uh, on scene uh, should not be applied over the previous one sneha praman in lepa vata shod one fourth part of the lepa pitta shod one sixth part of the lepas kapha shod one eighth part of the lepas thickness of the lep uh, vishagna lep one third anguli thick doshagna lep one fourth anguli thick varnya lep one uh, half anguli thick mechanism of application action lepas are usually applied over skin and in the opposite direction of the hair follicle because of this the absorption of drug applied is quick through the hair root sweat glands and blood capillaries sushrut define various types of dhamnis which uh, uh, network of siras is formed and their openings are attached to hair follicles which carry sweat rip and replenish rasa inside and outside through them only the virya of abhyanga snana lepa dravyas enter the body after being transferred in the skin to be absorbed through the skin the chemical must pass through the epidermis glands or hair follicles sweat glands and hair follicles make up about 0.1 to 1% of the total skin surface through small amount of chemicals may enter the body rapidly through the glands or hair follicles they are primarily absorbed through the epidermis chemical must pass through the cell layers of epidermis before entering the dermis where they can enter the blood stream or lymph and circulate to other areas of the body the stratum corneum is the outermost layer of the epidermis and the red limiting uh, limiting barrier is absorbing of an agent <coughs> sorry after the penetrating through the stratum corneum the uh, and into viable epidermis and dermis the molecules of the formulation produces its characteristic pharmacological response through receptors even before the blood and lymph circulation remove it thus helps to remove or neutralize the toxins in initial stage only let's see vishagna lepas mention it in charak sanhita in charak sanhita Chikitsa Stan 23rd Adhyay describes Vishagna lepers, Kakantadi Yog with uh, uh, indication for Sarva Kitavish, Murta Sanjivan uh, Agada indication Sarva Vishagna, Ganda Hasti Agada indication Savi Shuran, Vishajanya Dranshta, Bhuta Graha, Visu Chika, Unmad, Apasmar, Arsha, Muda Garba, Shvitra, Mahaganda Hasti Agada. सर्व विषग्न क्षार अगद लेप श्रोथ गुलम अर्ष भगंदर मास्यादी अगद लेप सर्व विषहर श्रोतग्न चंदनादी अगद लेप सर्व विषहर क्षीर वृक्षत्व अगद शूल कीट विषजन्य श्रोथ दाह मधुकाती अगद लुता विष 
कुसुम पुष्पादी अगत इंडिकेशन कीटविष लुता विषजन्य कनिक कर्णिका पतन कपोत विटादी लेप इंडिकेशन वृशिक विष मंडूक विष सुश्रुष संहिता कल्पस्थान चैप्टर फर्स्ट फिफ्थ सेवेन्थ एंड एट डिस्क्राइब विषग्न लेप शिरीषादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन ऋतपीड़ा ड्यू टू विष श्याम्यादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन हस्त एंड नखशिक चंदन आदि अगद लेप अभ्यंगज विष चंदन घृतादी लेप इंडिकेशन कॉस्मेटिक इंड्यूस त्वक विकार महासुगंधी अगद इंडिकेशन आभूषण विष और पादुका विष वंश त्वगादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन लुता विष मुशिका विष सर्व विष सर्प विष कीट विष अगत कीट विष मेष श्रृंगादी अगत इंडिकेशन मंडूक विष कुंकुमादी अगत इंडिकेशन शतपदी विष उत्तरांग संग्रह उत्तर स्थान फोर्टी फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स एंड फोर्टी एट चैप्टर डिस्क्राइब अगत लेप संजीवनी अगत लेप इंडिकेट इंडिकेशन सर्व विषहर मूर्वा चूर मूर्वादी चूर्ण अगत लेप इंडिकेशन घर विषजन्य तवक रोग हरण्यवादी अगत लेप इंडिकेशन गरेनो पहत त्वचा मीन्स अप्लाइड ऑन द स्किन अप्लिकेटेड बाय पॉइजन तरुण पलाश क्षार अगद इंडिकेशन त्वक रोग घृत लेप इंडिकेशन सर्व विषहर चंदन शीर्षादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन सर्प विष काश्मर आदि अगद लेप इंडिकेशन मंडल सर्प विष क्षीर वृक्ष त्वग लेग लेप इंडिकेशन कीट विष दशांग अगद लेप ऑल टाइप ऑफ कीट विष शिरीश बीच अगद लेप इंडिकेशन मंडूक विष वचादी लेप इंडिकेशन कीट विष तगरादी लेप मक्षिका विष मातुलुंग अम्लादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक विष पलाश बीजादी अगद इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक द्रष्टाशूल हिंगू हरतालादी अगद लेप इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक विष पिपल आदि लेप इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक विष पारावश शकृत अगद लेप इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक दृष्टाजन्य कंडू नागर आदि अगद लेप इंडिकेशन वृश्चिक विष प्रपौंडीकर आदि लेप इंडिकेशन पैतिक लुता विष श्यामादी लेह श्यामादी लेप इंडिकेशन श्लैश्मिक लुता विष बिंब्यादी लेप इंडिकेशन वातिक लुता विष शिरीष पद्मकाती लेप लुता विष निशा पद्मकाती लेप इंडिकेशन लुता विष अगार धुमादी लेप इंडिकेशन लुता विष जन्य कर्णिका सोम वलकल लेप इंडिकेशन नखदंत विष आयदर क्वाड्रा डेप पेड्स और बायपेड्स विष रसनजानादी लेप विषजनित दृष्टवन विषग्न डिस्कशन विषग्न लेप इज द वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट ट्रीटमेंट इन अगतंत्र For local application, vishagna lepa is mixed with gruta or lukewarm water or decoction or tandulodak. These are the best media for all vishagna lepas. This media increase efficacy and penetration of the drug. Lepa treatment is not only effective in a vishabada but also it in tvaka vikar, unmad, gulma, arsha, etc. Conclusion. In the vishachikista, vishagna lepa plays very important role. Vishagna lepa is applicable in all type of vishai, uh, vishas power, jangam, krutrim. Vishagna lepa is effective in local treatment as well as systematic treatment and prevention of further spread of poison. Vishagna lepa also effective in neutralizing the locally present visha. Vishagna lepa is indicated only in finally diagnosed poisoning cases. There are so many Vishagna lepas and agadas used for lepas are described in Brihatrais in Vishachikisa. Effect of Vishagna lepas are well described in Brihatrais. It is one of the areas of clinical and pre-clinical research for researchers. References are these. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Neha. Next is a paper presentation under the Kaya Jigusa panel. 
next i would like to invite dr pavitra p on the paper presentation on the topic food allergy dr pavitra are you there yes sir am i audible yes doctor audible ah okay Uh, is the screen uh, visible, sir? Yes, doctor. The screen is visible. Please start the session, doctor. Okay. Good evening, one and all. Myself, Dr. Pavitra, PG scholar, Department of Kaya Chikitsa. I am from SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan. And today I am here to present topic on food allergy under the guidance of Dr. Vasanta B, Associate Professor, Department of Kaya Chikitsa, SDM College of Ayurveda Hospital uh, Hassan. The contents of the presentation are introduction, definition, etiology, and epidemiology, mechanism of food allergy, clinical manifestations, diagnosis, treatment, Ayurvedic approach to food allergy, conclusion, and references. Uh, first of all, the introduction. An allergy is an immunological mediated adverse reaction to a foreign substance, usually a protein. Development of an allergy depends on allergy or antigen, which are genetic and environmental factors. A number of allergens are present and allergic reactions can affect almost any tissue or organ in the body with clinical manifestations depending on the target organ. The term food allergy is frequently used by lay people as well as healthcare practitioners to refer to a wide range of adverse reactions induced by food. But all food related symptoms are not due to food allergy. Food allergy is an immunological reaction to food allergens. As people are exposed to new foods, additives and preservatives, an increasing number of symptoms and conditions with unclear causes are being attributed to food. People often mistakenly perceive associations between their symptoms and food intake, especially if the symptoms are non-specific. So food allergy is a growing health concern because technology and progress have made the ordinary consumer foods available from all over the world. Food allergy has been referred to as the second wave of the allergy epidemic uh, next to the asthma. Ayurveda Acharya has opined that the body is constituted of food. Hita and Haitahara is responsible for health and disease respectively. Hence, Asatmya or Ahita or Virudhaharas can be understood in terms of adverse food reactions, which includes food intolerance and food allergy. Some foods are less allergic, while others are more allergic and responsible for fatal food allergic reactions. Hence, it is important to know whether a reaction is a true food allergy and about the nature and approach uh, to the uh, symptoms. Uh, coming to the definition, uh, adverse food reaction is a, a broad uh, term. Uh, it includes food allergy and food intolerance. Uh, adverse food reaction refers to any adverse experience associated with uh, food ingestion. It may be toxic or non-toxic, immunological or non-immunological reaction. Uh, whereas food allergy is an immediate type 1 hypersensitive immunological reaction to food or food components. It is also termed as food hypersensitivity reaction. Uh, food intolerance it is, is an abnormal non-immunological reaction to an ingested food that may be pharmacological, toxic or metabolic. Examples include caffeine, alcohol or lactose intolerance. Uh, coming to etiology and epidemiology. Uh, although any food can elicit an allergic reaction, commonly implicated food include cow's milk, eggs, wheat, soya bean, tree nuts, peanuts, fish and shellfish. Uh, about the epidemiology, uh, the reactions differ according to the age, geographical area and type of food allergen. It is prevalent high in young children and less in adults. Among these uh, uh, food allergens, common cause in children includes milks, egg, soya bean, wheat, and peanuts. A common cause in adults includes peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. The mechanism of food allergy. Uh, it is, it, it is, there are three types of mechanisms, IgE-mediated, non-IgE-mediated or mixed mechanism, uh, and cross-reactivity with uh, other allergic food. So uh, first is IgE-mediated. It is sensitization or production of IgE antibodies to the specific food uh, occurs when an individual is first exposed to that food antigen. Later exhibit allergic responses on subsequent exposure to that specific food by releasing histamine and other inflammatory mediators. Uh, it produces symptoms involving skin and respiratory system and GI system. This is referred, as, uh, referred to as type 1 hypersensitivity sensitivity reaction. Second is non-IgE mediated or mixed mechanism, uh, which are rare conditions that involve infiltration of the walls of the GI tract with eosinophils, lymphocytes, and other inflammatory cells. Uh, examples are food induced enterocolitis, proctocolitis in infants and uh, gluten insensitivity in adults. Cross reactivity to the, with other allergens. This is common between food and pollen due to homologous protein. Example, mugwort pollen, pollen 
causing uh, food allergy with kiwi apple, birch pollen causing um, food allergy with carrot and potato, latex with avocado and banana kiwi. Uh, the clinical manifestation of food allergy, the, this is classified under three headings. First is about the classical allergic symptoms. It involves skin, respiratory and GI symptoms. Under skin, it includes urticaria, angioedema, exacerbation of atopic dermatitis and dermatitis, uh, herpetiformis. Respiratory symptoms include asthma, allergic rhinitis, but it, it occurs rarely in food allergy. Uh, in, under GI symptoms, food induced nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stetoria, abdominal pain, blood in stool. Uh, Next is the oral allergy syndrome. It is an uh, IgE mediated condition affecting lips, mouth, and pharynx, commonly with uh, cross reactivity to fruits and vegetables. It is characterized by oral pruritis, angioedema of lips, tongue, palate, seasonal allergic rhinitis that is frequent in pollen season. Um, other manifestation is exercise induced food anaphylaxis. This occurs, uh, occurs due to specific foods only on exertion or exercise after consuming food. No reaction is observed if the person does not exercise after eating. Coming to the diagnosis, uh, it is based on detailed history, physical examination, investigation, and different di differential diagnosis. Under the history taking, we have to note about the nature and severity of symptoms, age of onset, then uh, quantity of suspect food in ingested, and duration between the ingestion and the development of the symptoms. A review of the meals in the last 24, as, uh, 24 hours has to be done, like spices, food additives, and uh, cross reacting foods in the diet, and other history, past history of allergy, then family history of atomic dermatitis. This is, has to be noted. And if GI symptoms, we have to record nutritional history, consider the possibility of GI infection, uh, then uh, asking of the food diary if it is maintained, then concurrent illness involving the skin, respiratory system, and GI tract that may produce symptoms similar to allergy should be identified. Under physical examination, um, we have to observe about the localized or generalized urticaria or angioedema, nasal congestion, rhinorrhea, tongue swelling, dyspnea, wheezing, hoarseness of voice, and anaphylactic shock. If the GI symptoms are present, uh, examination includes abnormal tenderness, increased bowel sounds, note, uh, we have to note muscle mass, amount of subcutaneous tissue to distinguish malnutrition and malabsorptions. Uh, coming to investigations, blood eosinophilia, elevated serum IgE, uh, skin prick test, food specific IgE, uh, that is RAST, intradermal skin test, elimination test, uh, diet diary, food challenge test. Out of this, food challenge test is considered as, uh, considered as the exact diagnosis of food allergy. And then coming to a differential diagnosis, uh, food allergy is, dif uh, has to be dif uh, is different from food poisoning, which is caused due to toxins. Then uh, it is different from food intolerance, like lactose intolerance, caffeine, alcohol, thyramine in cheese, tryptamine in fruits, uh, vegetables causing food-related symptoms. Then gastric uh, gastrointestinal disorders, peptic ulcers, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, IBS, cancer, etc., which have symptoms related to the eating has to be differentiated from food allergy. Then psychiatric disorders like anorexia, nervosa, bulimia, anxiety disorders has to be differentiated. And chronic urticaria, it is really associated with food allergy. Treatment, avoidance of suspected food from diet is the only available treatment for food allergy. Um, other supportive uh, treatment are pharmacological therapy, including um, which includes antihistamines, epinephrine in anaphylaxis, corticosteroids, immunotherapy, and patient education. Uh, Ayurvedic approach to food allergy. The term satma and asatma is used in Ayurveda, which may denote tolerance and intolerance. Um, hence, asatma, ahita, or virudhaharas can be understood in terms of adverse food reactions, which includes food intolerance and food allergy. Virudhahara are mentioned as due to samyoga viruddha, samskara viruddha, desha viruddha, kala viruddha, matra viruddha, and svabhava viruddha. Um, yeah, these are some examples uh, about the concept of food allergy. Viruddha samskara can be understood in terms of new procedures used to preserve food, such as freezing, irradiation, which can bring about certain changes in the characteristics of foods. Then possible allergic reactions to genetically modified foods are now a major cause of concern, which can be understood as viruddha samyoga. Desha and kala can be understood as food allergens producing reactions depending on geographical area and season of exposure to specific food, also duration of exposure to allergen. Matra signifies amount of food allergen needed to induce specific uh, reaction. Under Viruddha Aharas, um, we also find references of milk, fish, legumes, grains, fruits, and vegetables, which causes uh, uh, diseases, which are, all, which are the food allergens. Then uh, food reaction is an immunological reaction and is caused due to reduced immune function of the gut. This can be understood in terms of Vedic Shamatva. Viruddha Ahara is mentioned as one of the reasons for the inability of the body to resi resist disease, that is Vadi Asaha. 
A broad spectrum of cutaneous manifestation of allergic reactions are mentioned under Shita Pitta, Udarda, Kota, and Ayurveda. Among them, Kota can be understood as due to food or drug allergy. Uh, coming to the Chikitsa, Hita Ahara Sevana, then Vamana Virachana Shamana, then guidelines are for selection and collection of different types of Ahara according to season, location, qualities, etc. are mentioned by Acharas, which is, which is to be followed. Then Rasayana therapy. Uh, conclusion. Indian food is quite complex and it, it is necessary for a high risk person to identify allergens to which he is allergic to. Multiple food allergies due uh, to four or more is unusual. All non-specific symptoms with unclear causes are not due to food allergic reactions. Person who claim to be allergic to food, foods they have previously eaten without problems is unlikely that the food is responsible for allergy now. Hence, it is important to rule out concurrent illness that may be present involving skin, pulmonary, GI or other systemic disorders. Education on the difference between food allergy and food intolerance is necessary because some food allergies can cause life-threatening reactions. Uh, these are the references. Uh, thank you, one and all. Thank you, Dr. Pavitra. Next is a paper presentation under the Samhita panel. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Pratnya Trimba Gaikwad on the topic, the contemporary importance of Ajay Resayana with special reference to Deshi with the Pap Karma. Dr. Pratnya? Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes, Dr. Audible. Is my skin is uh, screen is visible, sir? Not visible, doctor. Dr. Pratnya, can you hear me? Dr. Pratnya, please unmute yourself. Uh, sir, I need one, mi one more minute. Okay, okay, Dr. Sure. Dr. Pratnya? Uh, sir, uh, I am unable to connect. I am unable to share my screen right now. Doctor, after one presentation, I will call you. Oh, okay. Please send me the PPT to my WhatsApp number. Okay. 
ओके सर ओके नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट ए पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन अंडर द क्रिया शरीर पैनल डॉक्टर सुजित्रा बालासो कन्वर्ट ऑन द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ व्यायाम डॉक्टर सुजित्रा आर यू यस सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस डॉक्टर ऑडिबल सो जस्ट अ सेकंड ओके इज द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल नॉट विजिबल डॉक्टर ओके सर ओके माय नेम इज डॉक्टर सुचित्रा घनवर सीआरसी कॉलेज निगडी पुणे माय पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ व्यायाम हियर इज द एब्स्ट्रैक्ट व्यायाम इज वन अमंग द इंपॉर्टेंट रेजिम्स ऑफ दिनचर्या Ayurveda mentioned that the proper physical activity affects not only our body, but has a positive influence on mind, emotions, indriyas, and the atma. When someone performs proper vyama, as mentioned in Ayurvedic literature, then it helps to maintain the health and brings maximum benefits. If the same vyama is done improperly, excessively, or in wrong method, then it will be result in the formation of various serious diseases. Therefore, this paper is attempt to explain vyama is in detail as mentioned in the Ayurvedic science. Here is the introduction. Ayurveda is ancient system of medicine in the world. Doctor Sujitra, hello. Doctor Sujitra, uh, your screen is not visible, doctor. Screen is not visible. Not visible, doctor. so is my screen screen is visible yes doctor now your screen is visible doctor please continue the session okay can i continue yes doctor please continue okay there is the introduction ayurveda is the ancient system of medicine in the world ayurveda deals with the every aspect of life lifestyle schedules help to maintain the proper health of individual that is dinacharya the word dinacharya systematically systematically and scientifically highlights all the regimes of the day starting from brahma muhurta jagrana wake up just before the sunrise mala mutra pravartanam Uh, defecation and micturition danta dhavan that is cleaning of a teeth abhyanga smooth oil massage and the snana karma bath and vyayama physical exercise vyayama is one among the important regime of dinacharya vyayama should be done daily in all seasons who is uh, who desire their own well being definition of vyayama is an ancient ayurvedic authority acharya charak defined Uh, vyama as any physical activity which is desirable and capable of being, uh, bringing about bodily stability and increase the strength of body always vyama has to be done in a proper measure vyama is referred to uh, any uh, any karma which will bring the exhaustion importance of uh, importance of vyama body gets laghavam to increase digestive fire physical strength to perform work reduction of vata dosha reduce fat level in the body import body tone and posture of the body nourishes body increase firmness to limbs uh, increase circulation body muscles become strong there is a matra of vyayama half of total strength that is balardha matra is mentioned in the cold season and is uh, and in the spring season it is advised to do exercise up to half depletion of uh, depletion of energy but in summer rainy and autumn season less than half of the energy this amount will differ from person to person depending upon body type age and overall health stop after sweat appears at axilla forehead on nose on arms and the shoulders samyak vyayama lakshana signs of proper exercise are Uh, appearance of sweat increase of respiration feeling lightness of the whole body feeling of blockage in a reg- region of heart and such other organs of the body vyayama phala benefits of exercise is vyayama brings about feeling of lightness of a body increase capacity to do work stability and elevation of three doshas uh, especially kapha dosha uh, it increases power of agni 
retards the process uh, process of aging nourishes body increase circulation removes laziness and create tolerance towards the tiredness trishna fatigue atap and the sheet ativayam seman janya vyadhi diseases due to the excessive exercise are shrama that is tiredness klama uh, karsha trishna rakta pitta pratama that is darkness in the in front of eyes kas jwar and the chardi uh vyam varj vyam uh, contraindications of exercise are vyam is contraindicated for person who is suffering from the diseases vata and pitta dosha uh, below age of 10 years those who are older than 70 years are contraindicated pregnant women are contraindicated, uh, contraindicated and after taking food uh vyam is contraindicated person having vartika constitution and who speaks too much loudly one who is suffer from hunger or thirst Uh, suffering from rakta pitta uh, rajakshma shwas and kas wound are contraindicated discussion ayurveda is a science of life which deals with primary uh, preliminary with the prevention of diseases and all preventive measures including dinacharya is very important with respect to health and longevity vayama vayama is one of the most important components of dinacharya one should follow the rules described by ayurvedic acharyas regarding the vayama to maintain our health and longevity uh, thus here here an attempt is made to follow the concept of vayama and is important in the dinacharya in the present era conclusion for a good health and longevity as well as to prevent disease one should follow dinacharya and vayama is important karma it is useful when one should do it with respect to matra bala and kala excessive exercise should not be done in any condition vayama is contraindicated in certain conditions like ajirna digestion and jwar fever here are some references thank you thank you dr sujitra Next, I would like to invite Dr. Pratnya Trimbagaikot for the paper presentation on the topic "The Contemporary Importance of Ajaya Rasayana" with special reference to Desha Vidya Pabha Karma. Dr. Pratnya, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Pratnya Gaikot. I am PG student of Sahita Department. Today I am presenting the topic, the contemporary importance of Acharya Rasayan, with special reference to Dashvit Pap Karma under guidance of Dr. Nilesh Kulkarni. Here is my abstract. The practice of Acharya Rasayan, described by Acharya Charak, can be vitalizer for body and mind. The one who adopts such a conduct at early age of life gains all benefits of Rasayan therapy. without consuming the rasayan dravya that is a dravya rasayan chikitsa acharya rasayan emphasizes on eating behavior behavior sleeping and social conduct in in world the techno, technology technology in the world of technology the term papa comes un, under the different context either misbelief or a part of spirituality the ayurveda has described ten sins under the three categories like kaik vachik and manasik the introduction about this topic is ayurveda consider any act is not merely means the physical activity but the state of mind which is equally responsible for the moral and immoral actions acharya rasayana the person who practices acharya rasayana from early age found to prevent oxidative prevent oxidative stress and oxidative dna damage this also regulate the manas doshas like raja and tama here the material used in the bruhatrayi which is bruhatrayi of ayurveda the the literature of this is described in described by the acharya charak the shlok has may shlok has given many things about this but i i will explain word by word like satyavadinam the person who always speaks truth it it helps for Aja, 
it is a sign of achar rasayan or indications for achar rasayan what what should one person do to get the benefits of achar rasayan priya vadina pleasant word akrodham the practice of anger management in the today world people people have many people have anger issues madhya maithuna nivrutti avoiding addictions like alcohol and maintaining celibacy ahinsa as we all know ahinsa is a non violence it may ahinsa may be like physical verbal or mental non violence is the literally meaning of ahinsa to prevent excessive and ad- to prevent the excessive adrenaline rush anayas means avoid excessive exertion it is the one of the etiological factors of vata vritti which weakens dhatu and vata dha- vata vata dosh regulates the all bodily prashanta be calm and engaging engaging in a creative activities or hobbies which diverts mind in a pleasant act japa the practice the practice of meditation can improve the co- concentration of mind courage and stability of mind shaucha maintaining the hygiene and cleanliness dhira stability of thought can be achieved by the meditation dana charity it creates the selflessness and importance to attain the peace of mind dharma dharma shastra par the person who follows the dharma dharma shastra the proper guideline of the society it, it can be considered as a dharma it is not uh, addressing towards any religion the uh, leading sensory organs and the mind towards the uh, adhyatma chintan and believe in almighty uh, anruha be kind to everyone upasitaram to sir elders needy people priests sages etc create the feeling of goodness and makes us responsible all the, all these things are explained under the achar rasayan samajagaran sopna the person who regulates his sleep patterns regular healthy sleeping habits balances the balances many things in body ahar ahar nidra and brahmacharya these three these are considered the tripods of life nitya kshir and gruta sevanam the daily consumption of milk and ghee all these helps to the pacify the vata dosha and improves the quality of health desha kala pramana pramana gyana the awareness of place and time to cope up with the changing climate and the place by following the dinacharya ritucharya as we all know the importance of dinacharya prutucharya yuktiga the pers- the healthy habits and the positive attitude towards the life set goals in a life we now in this we, we see many people who are, who get depressed we don't have don't have direction towards their life they, this can be managed with this yuktiga anamakara abstinence from the uh anger and violence jealousy and ego can be Im- improve your mental health the first we see in the achar rasayan and then we are considering the 10 sins that's the dashvid papa karma in ashtang rade 10 sins are described as follows hinsa causing the injury torture it is a violent act which is intended to hurt or kill other people say stealing or robbing it means taking secretly what is not, what is not given through knowing what is objective belongs to another anyatha kaam the unlawful sex activity it is a forcing abnormal physical ex- physical sexual activity irrespective of the gender it includes the forcing of sex act with animal and no 
other unlawful activity paishunya it shows the it is showing the fault to others holding others parusha vachana means rude or abusive or harsh speech anurutta vacha means speaking untruth or telling lies so sannibha alap means speech causing dissension separation breaking of company vyapad means the quarrel or intention of harming other people abhidya means the jealousy envy or not tolerating the good of other people drukabhi parve means finding faults and misunderstanding unfaith unfaithfulness except unfaithfulness with the scriptures elders and further this category in kai vachik and manas among of these ten sins first three are in a first three are the kai then next then next four are mind and the last three are say uh, first three are bodily say uh, fourth then are vachik means speak and last three are about the mind in the discussion of this the function of body and mind are regulated by the vat dosha healthy digest adequate sleep and celibacy are the natural ways to pacify increase vat dosha and also strengthen the dhatu in body always speaking truth can make one angst can make one anxiety free and more courageous which leads to the sattva vardhan longevity of life is decreased by the sexual activity the life span of virgins or yogis is relatively high in both the sexes explains the importance of celibacy it is important to avoid addiction dietary patterns physical activity and sleep patterns found to be associated with the psychological responses the pro social behavior that's priyam vadadi and karuna vadadi means the uh, pleasant talking and helping other people can improve the psychological well being and physical health the conclusion of this discussion uh, discussion is the acharya rasayana practice is found beneficial in all phases of life especially if it started early age it helps to improve and modify the physical and psychological health without consider without considering the role of mind in curative or preventive principles of treatment are impartial the health the lifestyle maintains the social psychological health which are uh, which also helpful for everyone uh here are some references thank you thank you doctor next is a paper presentation and the kai jigsa panel i would like to invite dr akshi savarkar on the paper presentation on the topic the role of diet in adhisari yoga with respect to annamaha shodhas a literature review dr akshi are you there dr akshi please unmute yourself Doctor Akshay, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, doctor. Please start the session, uh, doctor. Okay, just one second. हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर इन पीपीटी इज विजिबल नॉट विजिबल डॉक्टर स्क्रीन इज नॉट विजिबल जस्ट वन सेकंड ओके डॉक्टर
screen is visible yes doctor now your screen is visible doctor okay please start the session my name is akshay savarkar pg scholar kai chikitsa my topic is the role of bad in atisa roga with special reference to unknown throttles a literature review guided by with the virash shukla and with the vibhavari kokna introduction ayurveda is a ancient science and broad aim science the main aim of ayurveda is to maintain health state and cure the diseases the disease atisar is a acute disease which is broadly spread all over the world this is the this is the disease which can affect all age group and both of sex contaminated food and contaminated drinks are mainly etiological factor for the diseases there are so many drugs available in contemporary science also generally use the antibiotics and symptomatic medicines to cure this disease but these these drugs may use cause little side effect of unknown srotasa atisar nirukti the excessive elimination of apadatu with uh, stool from guda is known as atisar it is ashukar disease if it is not treated properly in time it may cause severe dehydration and deaths also uh, charak sahita describe following types of atisar vatas pittas kapas sannipatas bhayas shlokas and amaz atisar and rakta atisar according to susut samita here is some symptoms shweta purish nigda purish pichhela purish tantumay purish आमयुक्त पुरुष गुरु पुरुष दुर्गंधी पुरुष उदरशूल प्रवाहन एंड गुरुता इन उदर गुद बस्ती वंशन लाइक सिम्टम्स एम्स एन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू टेक रिव्यू एंड अंडर गो स्टडी ऑफ अतिसार वैदी फ्रॉम आयुर्वेदिक लिटरेचर टू स्टडी द रोल ऑफ डाइट इन अतिसार एंड क्रिएट अवेरनेस इन पीपल मटेरियल एंड मेथड Ayurvedic Samhita and some textbooks, modern textbooks, and online data and journals. Review of study is explaining under following headings. Number one is Patya. Patya is the way of living, a disciplined diet and lifestyle as per Ayurveda. Liquid intake: coconut water, ricin water, boiled water. Rice grain gram kichdi, laja mand, shali lahe, rajgira lahe. fruits jamun apple nutmeg carrot onion black salt etc and apatya apatya is the form of lifestyle or diet which is the basic cause of diseases so by studying about apatya we have to avoid them as the lifestyle of today's people become so modernized they are regularly doing apatyas in daily life non veg fruits like mango watermelon pineapple excess cold water buffalo milk etc discussion atisar is the most common disease found in children diarrheal diseases rank among the top 3 causes of death in pediatric population of the developing world right out of 10 deaths are in the first 2 years of the life the most susceptible period of the malnutrition it is unfortunate that the death is due to atisar even through is preventable it causes death of children in such a huge number such a huge number sorry information on diarrheal disease is determination prevention and control strategy with the help of ayurveda is important for better planning and organization of health service and limiting the mortality and morbidity with diarrheal disease there are many drugs and ayurvedic composition mentioned in ayurvedic texts ranthas which are not researched for their efficacy and are not used in order to bring such drugs in mainstream research is needed and so research will be done in other system of medicine only treatment plan for diarrhea is prevention and correction of dehydration not actually treating the disease so there is needed of drug with treat diarrhea and prevent dehydration also this conclusion as ayurveda is the science mainly gives importance to prevention following good diet and lifestyle is the key of healthy beings acharyas also stated 
that if you follow Pathas, the diseases will cure easily and the medicine will increase the efficacy of medicine. Also maintain Agni and Samavastha. And as Agni is the reason to all health and wealth, by maintaining the Agni, we are adapting disease-free and healthy life. And if Agni is good, it will prevent Atisar and all discuss with the help in the fast recovery. Here is the some references. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Akshi. Thank you. Next is a paper presentation under Kai Jigisa panel. I would like to invite Dr. Shraddha Rajendra Jagdap on the paper presentation on bronchial asthma stomach shots. Dr. Shraddha, are you there? Hello. Hello. Hello, doctor. Please Hello. start the session. Doctor. Audible? audible, doctor. Your voice is clear, doctor. My screen is visible? Screen is not visible, doctor. Now? Not visible, doctor. Is visible? Hello? Yes, doctor. Your screen is visible, doctor. Uh, my topic is bronchial asthma, that is stomach shwas. Uh, my name is Dr. Shraddha Jakta, PG Kai Chikitsa, guided by Dr. Viraj Shukla, HOD of Kai Chikitsa Department, Institute, LKR College, Gadingalas. introduction. Asthma is defined as chronic inflammatory disease of airway that is characterized by increased responsiveness of tracheobranchial tree, multiplicity of stimuli. It is manifested physiologically by widespread narrowing of passage. According to who, there are 15 to 20 million asthmatic present worldwide Hello, and the dead rate reaches over. Hello, doctor. Hello. Can you rotate the screen, doctor? Or I will share for you, doctor. I will share the screen for you, doctor. Okay. Hello. I will share for you, doctor. I will, I will share the screen for you, doctor. Oh. Is it visible, doctor? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Please continue, doctor. Hmm. According to who, there is there are 15 to 20 million asthmatic present worldwide and the date rate reaches over 1,18,000 annually. Shwasvadi is a disease of Pranva srotas, the disease in which Pranvayu is directed in upward movement resulting in a sound like Bhastrika is called Shwas. The origin of Pranva srotas is Rude as well as Mahasrotas. Thus, Pranvayu is responsible for breathing out and breathing, which is important living. As per Ayurveda, Shwas is for mainly caused by the Vata and Kapha doshas. Shwas is broadly classified into five types. In Mahashwas, dyspnea major, Urdhva Shwas, expiratory dyspnea, Chinna Shwas, kind stroke respiration, Shudra Shwas, dyspnea minor, Tamak Shwas, bronchial asthma. 
etiology the cause of asthma are divided into two types inducing factor and triggering factor in uh, inducing factor is induce asthma is susceptible, susceptible person uh, there are genetic factor obesity viral infection in early life and exposure to tobacco smoke triggering factor can aggravate symptoms in a patient who is having asthma inhalation of allergens house dust pollen mold and animal dander environment cold and dry climate cooking gas fumes passive cigarette smoking paint spray infection upper respiratory tract infection viral infection drugs aspirin painkillers food colonic agents of food food preservatives ice creams exercise vigorous exercise particularly on cold and dry day psychological factors stress occupational wood and cotton dust chemicals causes uh, of stomach stress intake of dry cold heavy incompatible food and irregular intake of food excessive intake of black grams brand system meats of aquatic animals intake of cold water and exposure to cold climate exposure to dust smoke and wind excessive exercise over indulge in the sexual activity trauma to throat chest and vital organs suppression of natural urges pathophysiology of asthma trigger factor that is induced airway inflammation induced a uh, hyper secretion of mucus airway muscle muscle constr constrictions swelling bronchial membrane that induce narrow breathing and cause wheezing cough shortness of breath tightness in chest sampraapti the specific pathogenesis of shwas rog is described as exposure to etiological factors leads to vitiation of cough along with vata which uh, causes obstruction of pranava srotas this generates movement of vayu in all directions in pranava srotas and body ultimately causes shwas rog dosh kapha pradhan vat dushya rasa srotas pranava adhisthan amashe shroto dushti sang ane vimarg gaman vata anushakari vyadhi purva rog pain in rudya pradesh पार्श्वशूल अदमान अनाह मुख मुख वैरश प्रिकिंग पेन इन शंख प्रदेश तमक श्वास एग्रीवेटेड वात ड्यू टू एक्सपो एक्सपोजर एक्सपोजर टू पॉजिटिव फैक्टर लीड्स टू इट्स प्रतिलोम गति और रिवर्स मूवमेंट विटिएटेड वात रन थ्रू चैनल्स एंड रिचेस हेड नेक रीजन इट exaggerated the regional cough by increasing epithelial secretion and produce pinna pinasa these secretions or uh, malarupi cough obstruct the passage of air and produces gurgur shabd or wheezing sound signs and symptoms a breathlessness along with possible exp expiration cough wheezing tightness of chest thick mucus sputum aggravation of above symptoms during night and early morning fainting during the brow bout of cough sleeplessness discomfort increase when lie down on bed uh, gets comfort in sitting posture sweating on on the forehead tamak shwas is of two types uh, first is pratamak shwas second is santamak shwas pratamak shwas it is associated with fever fainting distension of abdomen indigestion santamak shwas it is pacified by taking of cold regimen diagnostics and diagnosis and treatment uh, diagnostic test uh, that is pulmonary function test includes spirometry and peak flow which estimate the narrowing of the bronchial tubes and how fast an individual can breathe chest x ray allergy test uh, sputum test number of uh, eosinophils treatment uh, modality in ayurveda as per ayurveda bronchial asthma is a vata kapha disease it begins in the stomach uh, uh, progress to the lungs and bronchi hence the aims of treatment is to move the excess cough back to stomach and then eliminate it for uh, uh, for this purpose following methods are adopted first is swedan that is sudation second vaman therapeutic emesis virechan therapeutic purgation all this procedure will be followed as per need of individual patients 
सिस्टम यूजफुल आयुर्वेदिक ड्रग्स फॉर अस्तमा तालिसादी चूर्ण और सीतोपलादी चूर्ण वन टू थ्री ग्राम्स टू बी टेकन ट्वाइस अ डे विथ हानी सोमलता चूर्ण वन टू थ्री ग्राम्स टू बी टेकन ट्वाइस अ डे विथ हानी कन कासो फाइव टू टेन एम एल विथ इक्वल क्वांटिटी ऑफ ल्यूकवम वॉटर आफ्टर फूड श्रृंगवादी चूर्ण वन टू थ्री ग्राम्स टू बी टेकन ट्वाइस अ डे विथ हानी त्रिकटु चूर्ण वन टू टू ग्राम्स ट्वाइस विथ हानी वासा वलेह ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स ट्वाइस डेली कंटकारी अवलेह ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स ट्वाइस डेली वैग्री हरित की अवलेह ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स ट्वाइस डेली अगस्त हरित की अवलेह ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स ट्वाइस डेली लवंगादी वटी वन टैबलेट्स फॉर चिविंग थ्री टाइम्स डे श्वास कुठार रस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम जी ट्वाइस डेली महालक्ष्मी विलास रस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम जी डेली ट्वाइस डेली यूजफुल मेडिसिन प्लांट्स फॉर अस्तमा कंटकारी वासा शुंठी भारंगी पुष्कर मूल कंटकारी कंट हरिद्रा थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर श्रद्धा नेक्स्ट इज ए पेपर एंड पोस्टर प्रेजेंटेशन under the kaumari vritya panel i would like to invite dr shubhangi vital kanade for the paper presentation on the topic review of concept and ayurvedic approach on ahibodhana and the poster presentation is um, sirvan prat dr aryo dev dr shubhangi aryo dev yes sir yes sir okay doctor please start the session doctor okay sir Yes, sir. Uh, my screen is visible, sir. Screen is visible, doctor. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, sir, myself Shubhangi Vittal Kanade, uh, uh, PG student, PG department, Kumar Bhutia, and Sir Dangal Vedic Medical College, Ashta. And my guide is Doctor uh, Narendra Babur. Uh, my topic name is review of concept and ayurvedic approach for ahiputna so abstract ahiputna or diaper rash is a common problem in pediatric opd prevalence of diaper rash has been variably reported from 7 to 35 percentage into the first year of the life most cause cases occur between 4 to 18 month of age it is caused by improper care of infants and children during that skin is continuous contact with urine stool other ways result in predominance of kapha rakta that causes burning and rash in anal region the disease characterized by pitika kandu strav and vrana treatment involves avoidance of causes sanya dushti application like rasanjan quat for cleaning this paper presentation based on review the concept and ayurvedic perspective of ahiputan introduction ahiputna presently closely related as a napkin rash modern system of medicines acharya sushruta has described ahiputna as shudra roga hello doctor hello doctor your screen is not moving doctor screen is not moving yes doctor not not moving doctor okay sir ek minute okay doctor yes doctor now is now is in introduction page okay okay sir okay doctor. Acharya Sushruta has described Ahiputna as a shudra roga occurs in infants and young children. Matru ka dosha, Purushtada Gudha Kutta and Anamika are the synonyms of Ahiputna. Skin around the perianal region are mostly affected, but sometimes buttocks, perianal region, and scrotum in male and labia majora in female children may be involved. In severe cases, vitation of kapha and rakta dosha are responsible for origin of this disease. Napkin rash is an irritant dermatitis due to prolonged contact skin with the feces and urine, leading to maceration. Uh, aim, uh, aim of this. Uh, Uh, is a review of concept of ahiputna an ayurvedic approach to diaper rash objective to study the concept of ahiputna from ayurvedic and modern aspect to study the various treatment of ahiputna material and method 
मटेरियल वेर कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम डिफरंट संहिता एंड मॉडर्न बुक्स अहिपुतना डिस्क्राइबिंग अष्टांग संग्रह सुसत संहिता बाव प्रकार संहिता निधान पंचोपक ऑफ अहिपुतना हेतु पूर्व रूप रूप उपशय संप्राप्ति हेतु दैट इज अ पॉजिटिव फैक्टर ऑफ अहिपुतना दीज आर द दुष्ट सनपान मलस्यवधातु शकुन मूत्र समायुक्ति स्वेद 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 स्वेनस्य अवमनस्य दीज आर द पॉजिटिव फैक्टर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू सुश्रुता अकॉर्डिंग टू अष्टांग संग्रह मलस्य मलस्य अवधान एंड स्वेदा अकॉर्डिंग टू अष्टांग हृदय मलस्य अवधान एंड स्वेदा एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू भोज इज इज अ दुष्ट सनपान एंड मलस्य अवधान पूर्व रूप नॉट डिस्क्राइब इन टेक्स्ट रूप दैट इज अम्स कंडू दाह रुज पीडिका ताम्रवर्ण स्त्राव स्फोटा दीज आर द वेरियस लक्षण ऑफ द अहिपुतना अकॉर्डिंग टू सुश्रुता लक्षण आर कंडू दाह रुज पीडिका स्त्राव एंड स्फोट अकॉर्डिंग टू वाघटा कंडू दाह रुज ताम्रवर्ण These are the uh, these are the symptoms according to Ashtanga Rudra, Kandu and Tamravarna, and according to Bhoj, Kandu, Dah, Ruja and Pedika. These are the symptoms. Uh, so, these are some pictures of uh, Ayyputna. Some prapti that is pathogenesis uh, due to the unhygienic condition and asuchita. Uh, there is a prolonged malopalepath of mala mutra sveda around perianal region which causes sthanik rakta kapha dushti and which causes sthanik pitta dushti and which causes ahiputna a treatment or chikitsa uh, chikitsa is given to both dhatri and childs to the dhatri is the sanya shodhan or for, for balak is the dosha shodhan oral treatment for dhatri that is the sanya shodhan patola patra trifaya rasanjan siddha uh, siddha ghrata uh, siddha ghrata pan pitta kapha shamak aushadi and sanya shodhan mahakashaya tropical treatment for ahiputna is the lay tar tarkashela mix with honey ashmantaka churna shankha saurika yashti madhu churna अवचूर्णन अवचूर्णन इज द एस टी शंख सविरांजन और सारिवा कासिस रोचन तुक्त तुत्त महानो एंड रसांजन परिषेक परिषेक इज विथ डिकॉक्शन ऑफ द त्रिफला बार्स और ऑफ बदार एंड प्ला प्लाश पथ्य फॉर दही पुतनाइज रेड्यूस द यूज ऑफ डायपर्स यूज ऑफ कॉटन नैपकिन्स change the diaper once it is contaminated with feces because material or a urine keep diaper area always clean and dry regular bath wipe out excess sweat apatya uh, apatya for i put nice continuous and prolonged use of diaper rubbing over uh, uh, diaper area use of strong scented wipes conclusion of the i put na i put na can be correlated with diaper rash Diaper rash is a more common in age group six to eighteen months. Only local medication is not sufficient to treat. Sorry, one minute, sir. Discussion. First one of one is the discussion. Ahi putna is a disease comparable with diaper rash. It is a common disease observed in infantile age due to low low socio economic condition. And poor uh, poor sanitation in Ayurvedic literature, malopalepath, asuchita, dusht stanapan. These are the hetus are described of ahi putna. But asuchita is the more common. Pitta and rakta dushti is involved. The symptoms are tamravarna, kandu, strau, pedikar, seen. Various treatments are described by Acharya, including sanya shodhan to dhatri and abhyantar and bahya chikitsa to baby. We discuss here conclusion. 
ही पुतना कैन बी को रिलेटेड विथ डायपर रैश डायपर रैश इज अ मोर कॉमन इन एज ग्रुप सिक्स टू एटीन मंथ ओनली लोकल मेडिकेशन इज नॉट सफिशियंट टू ट्रीट डायपर रैश इन चिल्ड्रन वन ऑफ द मेन कॉज इज सन दृष्टि देर फॉर ओवरऑल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर मदर इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट इन मॉडर्न सायंस देर इज ओनली ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ बेबी फॉर डायपर रैश इज मेन्शन वॉट एवर इट मे बी एक्सटर्नल और इंटरनल बट देर इज अ नो मेन्शन ऑफ मदर्स ट्रीटमेंट इन आयुर्वेदिक मदर्स ट्रीटमेंट इन आयुर्वेदिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द मेन कॉज ऑफ अहि पुतना इज सन्य दृष्टि सो वी हैव टू ट्रीट सन्य दृष्टि एज वेल एज बेबी दीज आर सम रेफरेंसेस and this is my poster presentation sir uh, it is a poster presentation on suvarna prashan uh, which is a herbal immunization for your child uh, suvarna prashan hi etat mada meda meda agni balavardhan ayushya mangalam punya vrusha grahapaham masat param medavi काय काद्य भिन्नम च दृश्यते षडाभि मासे श्रुत धर सुवर्ण प्राशन भवेत काश्यप संहिता सूत्रस्थान द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ सुवर्ण प्राशन इज इम्प्रूव इम्युन सिस्टीम फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ एंड डायजेशन पावर इम्प्रूव ग्रास्पिंग एंड रिटेन्शन पावर एंड मेमरी टोन्स ऑफ स्किल एंड इम्प्रेस फेअर कॉम्प्लेक्शन प्रोटेक्ट चिल्ड्रन्स फ्रॉम इलनेस दॅट ऑकर ड्यू टू सीजनल चेंजेस protects children from allergies the doses is 1 ml prefer to be given on every pushya nakshatra on for 2 years thank you sir thank you dr subhanki next i would like to invite a tele presentation on the topic role of ayurveda in the management of allergy by dr sashi surekha dr sashi surekha are you there yes sir yes doctor please start the session doctor ha okay sir हेलो यस डॉक्टर हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज अनम्यूट डॉक्टर हेलो डॉक्टर डॉक्टर से देखा ओके नेक्स्ट इज अनदर पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन अंडर द प्रसूति पैनल आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट Dr. Vidya Sampaji Jadhav for the paper presentation on the topic pathophysiology and treatment of PCOS according to Ayurveda perspective. Dr. Vidya, are you there? Dr. Vidya, are you there? Next, I would like to invite. Dr. Manjima K S for the paper presentation on the topic anatomical aspect of pitta dargala. Hello. Hello, doctor. Has uh, Vidya sir Vidya. Uh, doctor, please start the session, doctor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
sir i am unable to connect the pdf hello once, once again please retry doctor yes sir hello 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 ha sir i am unable to share the screen ppt uh, doctor i will call you after on presentation please send the ppt to my via whatsapp okay okay doctor sudeha yes, can you hear me Doctor Sudeha, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, doctor, please start the session, doctor. Sir, say. Sir, say Sudeha, sir. Yes, doctor, please start the session, doctor. Doctor Sudeha. Doctor Sudeha, can you hear me? Doctor Sudeha, can you hear me? Hi, yes, sir. Here. Please share the screen, doctor. Okay. Hmm. This take, sir. Hello. Ha, this take screen. Screen is not visible, doctor. Not seen. Hello, no, doctor. Take the screen. Don't miss. Presentation, sir. Screen can not this mess up. Take the screen. Take the screen. Do you have any problem with screen sharing? Screen share, correct. Hmm. Hello, Doctor Sudeha. You have any problem with screen sharing? Yes, sir. Problem with what? Don't worry, Doctor. I will share for you, Doctor. Okay. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Ha. Ah, ba, read kar sami. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Ha. Screen is visible. Hello, Doctor. Ha. Ah, yes, sir. My name is Surekha Sesel. PG Scholarship Letantra. My guide is B N Gadwe sir. College C S M S Ayurved Mahavidyalay Kanchanwadi, Aurangabad. Introduction. Don't mind. Ayurveda is the science of life. We deals with the various diseases and its prevention. It is the aim, main aim of the Ayurvedic science. Allergic diseases are a common and increasing cause of illness, affecting 50% and 20% of the population at some time. They compromise the range of disorder from mild, from mild to life-threatening and affecting many organs. The incidence of allergic disease. Is increasing. Third, this trend is largely unexplained, but one widely held theory is the hygiene hypothesis. A number of factors predispose to allergic disease. The strongest, strongest of which 
इज अ फैमिली हिस्ट्री आयुर्वेदा एंड एलर्जी इन आयुर्वेदा द टिपिकल सिम्टम्स ऑफ एलर्जिक राइनाइटिस फाउंड इन स्प्रिंग सीजन लाइक कंजेशन रनी नोज वाटरी आईज एंड स्निजिंग दिस आर डेवलप ड्यू टू एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ कप दोषा इन द उर्ध्व उर्ध्वगज भाग स्किन एलर्जीज आर ऑल्सो डेवलप ड्यूरिंग सीजनल चेंज ड्यू टू द पोलन डर एट्सेट्रा द स्किन एलर्जी कैन बी को रिलेटेड विथ शीत पित्त इन आयुर्वेदा allergic rhinitis also known as hay fever it is developed due to allergic response to the specific allergens dust pollen etc these are the most common allergens for the seasonal allergic rhinitis symptoms include running nose itchy nose coughing sneezing itchy and watery eyes headache etc this factor includes chemicals dust mites air pollution cigarette smoke fumes perfumes humidity skin allergy in skin allergy eczema is the most skin condition it is the inflammation which is focus on the epidermis common type of eczema are atopic dermatitis Seborrheic dermatitis, discoid eczema, lichen simplex chronicus, allergic contact dermatitis, etc. Urticaria is also most important and common form of skin allergy. Urticaria develop due to the inflammation of skin, which is trigger when immune system releases histamines in the body. <laughs> निदान ऑफ एलर्जी आहराज हेतु विहाराज हेतु एंड ऑदर हेतु आहराज हेतु विरुद्ध आहार अग्नि मांग शीत उष्ण आहार आमिष्ण एक्सेट्रा विहाराज हेतु विरुद्ध विहार अयोगा ऑफ पंचकर्म कॉन्टैक्ट विथ विष द्रव्य छर्दी वेग धारण ऑदर हेतु कृमि कंडू शोध विसर्प उदर कोष्ट संप्राप्ति ऑफ एलर्जी फर्स्ट इज हेतु सेवन देन वातादि दोष प्रकोप अग्निमांज रक्त प्लस मांस दृष्टि त्वकस्त मंडल उत्पत्ति कंडू एटसेट्रा देन एलर्जी एलर्जिक सिम्टम्स चिकित्सा निदान परिवर्जन चिकित्सा अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉज रक्त भाव स्रोत सामान्य चिकित्सा रक्त पित्त हर चिकित्सा विरेचन उपवास उपलंघन रक्त मोक्षण शोधन चिकित्सा बाह्य स्नेहन विथ द्रव्यादी तेल गुडूची प्लस चरकुंखाते करंज तेल स्वेदन उष्ण जल परिचेक लेपन लेपन दुर्वा प्लस हरिद्रा हरिद्रा दुर्वादी तेल नश्य व मन पटोल प्लस लिंबू निंब प्लस वासा सेकंड वचा प्लस निंब प्लस यष्टी मधु विरेचन बाय त्रिफला विरेचना स्थिरृत त्रिफला अरघवत 
सामान्य चिकित्सा कृमिघ्न चिकित्सा दुर्घ्न चिकित्सा अम्लपित चिकित्सा उष्ण चिकित्सा उष्ण त्रिकटु त्रिकटु इज द बेस्ट ड्रग हरिद्र चूर्ण हरिद्र त्रिफला त्रिकटु हरिद्रा एक्सेट्रा रस इंद्रकला रस यार तुझे ऐसा माजी पिपटे ऑल दिस अत नहीं है और माज आवास्ते ना जात नहीं है हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज कंड प्लीज कंडी डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज कंडी डॉक्टर चूरना त्रिफला त्रिकटु हरिद्रा वर्ती आर्थवर्धिनी वर्ती कैशर गुड़ क्वाथ महामंजिष्ट आदि अमृत आदि केष्ट आदि क्वाथ लेह पाक निम्ब पत्र आदि लेह कन्क्लूजन Allergic diseases are increasing cause of illness in today's area. Era. Most of the allergies are skin allergy, allergic rhinitis, etc. We are found most commonly in Ayurveda. It can be correlated with chit pitt, which is developed due to the irritation of the vata di dosh in the body. The management for the allergy in Ayurveda is shodhan and shaman chikitsa, which help to decrease the kandu. दोष दुष्टी इन द बॉडी शोधना इज द बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट फॉर एलर्जी डिसऑर्डर इन आयुर्वेदा थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर नेक्स्ट आई लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर विद्या संभाजी जाधव फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक पैथोफिजियोलॉजी एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पीसीओएस अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेदिक पर्सपेक्टिव डॉक्टर विद्या आर यू देयर डॉक्टर विद्या कैन यू हियर मी डॉक्टर विद्या प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर कैन यू हेयर मी यस सर ओके डॉक्टर हां सर प्लीज शेयर माय पीपीटी शेयर डॉक्टर वन मिनट हां हेलो वन मिनट डॉक्टर हां माझी पीपीटी लावू हेलो डॉक्टर स्क्रीन इज विजिबल हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर हेलो हां हां सर आई कैन स्टार्ट हेलो हेलो माय नेम इज विद्या जाधव हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज कंटिन्यू डॉक्टर हां माय नेम इज विद्या जाधव थर्ड इयर पीजी स्कॉलर प्रसूति तंत्र एंड सूर्य विभाग एस एम बी टी आयुर्वेद कॉलेज टूडेज माय टॉपिक इज पैथोफिजियोलॉजी एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पीसीओ एस अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेदिक्स परस्पेक्टिव इंट्रोडक्शन पीसीओ एस पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरियन सिंड्रोम पॉलिडिनोस टू मल्टीप्लिसिटी सेवरल और मोर सिस्टिक एंड एबनॉर्मल से कंटेनिंग गैस फ्लूड और सेमी सॉलिड मटेरियल कंटेनिंग सिस्ट ori one of the two reproductive glands in female containing germ cells or ova syndrome a set of symptoms it was first described in 1935 by, by stent and leventhal and called as stent leventhal syndrome for many years it is heterogeneous disorder characterized by amenorrhea सर फोर्थ फोर्थ स्लाइड हाँ हिरसोटिजम ओबेसिटी असोसिएट विथ एनलास पॉलिसेस्टिक ओवरीज 
the period the normal cycle contains 0 to 5 days uh, menstrual cycle is a fsh and ls produce follicles in ovary uh, around egg and they produce estrogen 6 to 14 days uterine lining thick cervix lining is thin and watery dominant follicle is ready with mature egg day 15 ovulation enzyme breaks follicle mature eggs goes to fallopian uterus full with nutrients implantation occurs in pc the pcod or pcos cycles day 0 to 0 uh, day 0 to 5 low or high lh or fsh therefore low chances of healthy follicle and low or no estrogen production day 6 to 14 no dominant follicles no secretion of estrogen in blood no mature egg day 15 follicle does not break due to low hormones immature egg can't travel to phallum tubes uterus or cervix are normal Ayurvedic consideration of PCOS. PCOS, though a syndrome, cannot be correlated to a particular disease, and exact correlation is not possible. No specific yoni weapon with the above said features is noted. Conditions like Vandhya, Arajaska, Nashta Arthav, Arthakshay, and Pushpagni Jataharani to some extent can be related. According to Acharya Shishruta, the four essential factors for the conception are similar as the germination of a seed <clears throat> rutu kshetra bija ambunam sa rutu kshetra bija rutu the fertile period is more explained by acharya dalhana that rutu means rajah kal that is ovulation period sutrut sharistan uh, deposition of the spermatozoa in the upper vagina should be in appropriate time of the female cycle. Rutu is Rutu Kal. Kshetra, anatomically and physiologically adequate reproductive organs vagina must be healthy. Cervix and its secretions are also permitted to pass spermatozoa. The oviduct or uh, fallopintum must be patent and uh, sufficient ciliary movement is present. The uterus must be capable of supporting implantation and fetal growth throughout pregnancy. Ambu, proper nourishment to, to the body, adequate uh, hormonal level and proper nutrition is required for genital organs. Bija, the adequate ovum and spermatozoa and the female's ovulatory mechanism must be normal. The male must produce an adequate number of normal spermatozoa. So, in the concept of PCOS, adequate beach is not available. Vandetva or a sarga, an ovulation. Pushpagni jataharini, urutha pushpantu yanari yatha kalam prapashati, sulam lomashaganda, vava pushpagni, sa api revati, urutha pushpam. Uh, and ovulation fruitless without conception. Yakta kalam prapashyati, yatha kalam prapashyati, menstruating regularly, sthaulya, obesity, lomashagandaha, hairy skin, uh, hairy chain and hirsutism. Arthava dushti, achare have mentioned that arthav dushti if remains untreated or not properly treated then it causes a bijat that is unable for prajat padanaha acharyas have not described any specific etiology of these eight menstrual disorders vata get aggravated and causes dhatukshaya because of this dhatukshaya rasa dhatu decreases and that ultimately causes dikshaya of its upadhat that is Arthavakshayaha and ovulation. Avranaha. In the concept of Arthavnash, Sushrut and Vagbataha has described that both Vat and Kaf when aggravated obstruct the path, thus Arthav is destroyed. Here, Arthav can be taken as Antapushpaha. Here, we can taken as an ovulation. The Arthav Vahasrotas is obstructed by the Kaf and Vat due to which Artho is not visible. Ovulation does not occur. It is also Sangha Pradhan Vikaraha. 
asrik doshaha word asrik refers to ovum and menstrual blood abnormalities of ovum and ovarian hormones produce infertility Di dietetic habit besides all these reasons di dietetic habits also causes an ovulation <clears throat> as mentioned in kashyap sahita kalpasthan due to ativushna virya annapana artho which becomes uspichitta or vitiated ayurveda perspective pcos is basically a disease of arthabaha srotasah avaran is the main pathogenesis in pcos kapha medo related dosha dushya samurchana is seen here stolya samprapti and kapach prameya samprapti are the key areas to be explored in pcos kapha dominant granthis are seen in ori granthis develop when there is the sang in srotasa due to snigdha and guru guna of kapha these granthis with strong kapha platform inhibits the artho leading to artho rodaha <clears throat> frame of samprapti doshah kapha guru snigdha manda gunah dushya med dhatu rasa and rakta srotasa artho vah srotas medo vah srotas sroto dushti sang agni mandya at coast and dhatu level pcos ayurveda correlation kaphaj prameha stolya medava vritta vat kapha vritta vat kaphaj granthi granthi arto doshah investigations sonography transvaginal sonography in obese patient shows enlarged ovaries in volume and increased number of peripheral arranged cyst treatment protocol stolya chikitsa dhatvagni deepan chikitsa kapha medo dushti chikitsa role of panchakarma women for kapha chedan and avaran chikitsa virechan for kapha pitta nissaran vat anulomana virechan with erand telam 25 ml with milk virechan with 50 gram trivrutta leham basti chikitsa for minimizing kapha related granthis in ovary erand muladi shodan basti lekhan basti uttar basti फलगृत काशी साधी तैल सहचर तैल बला तैल लेखन लेखन बस्ती फर्स्ट मार्क्षिक टू हंड्रेड एम एल सैंद फिफ्टीन एम एल मोर्चित तैलम टू हंड्रेड एम एल यवनादी कलकम थर्टी ग्राम त्रिफला कश थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल धनम ल टू हंड्रेड एम एल यावक्ष टेन ग्राम्स लेखन बस्ती टू त्रिफला कश वन फिफ्टी एम एल कुलत्त कशाय वन फिफ्टी एम एल मार्क्षिक वन फिफ्टी एम एल स्नेहन हंड्रेड एम एल कलकम हिंगवादी थर्टी ग्राम लवन टेन ग्राम यवक्षार टेन ग्राम बहि परिमार्जन चिकित्सा उद्वर्तन कफ मेदो दोषन कफ मेदो शमन बाय कोल कुलाद चूर्ण अवगहा स्वेद शिरोधारा शिरो पिचू एडवाइस एज पर पेशंट्स प्रकृति शमन चिकित्सा लसून एरंडादी कषाय सुकुमार कषाय एक्स पक्वाशय करेक्स्ट अपान वैगुण्य वरुण आदि कषाय वरुण सैरे कशतावरी चित्रक रिमुस आवरण यूजफुल इन इन्सुलिन रेजिस्टन्स रज प्रवर्तनी वट्टी कांचनार गुगुलू इंडिकेटेड इन ग्रंथी कुबेराक्ष वट्टी फलगृत करेक्स हार्मोनल इम्बैलेंस रेगुलर रेगुलराइज आर्तव कंक्लूजन इट इज इन एक्यूरेट टू स्टेट दैट पीसीओएस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ एन ओवलेशन बिकॉज पीसीओएस डज नॉट कॉज एन ओवलेशन रेदर पीसीओएस इज द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ chronic and ovulation which can result from a wide variety of causes pcos is now firmly established in our source, uh, scientific and clinical it is important to emphasize that pcos is not a discrete or specific endocrine disorder having a unique cause or pathophysiology pcos is a condition involving disorder of ovary associated with 
डी अरेंज मेटाबोलिज्म ऑफ लिपिड्स एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड मल्टीपल हार्मोनल इन्वॉल्वमेंट रिसर्चेस आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द करेक्ट पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ पीसीओएस इन आयुर्वेदा कॉजिंग इनफर्टिलिटी बाय प्रॉपर इन्वेस्टिगेशन डायग्नोसिस एंड मैनेजमेंट वी कैन फाइट अगेंस्ट पीसीओएस एंड कैन ब्रिंग न्यू ग्लो टू वुमेन्स लाइफ एक्सटेंसिव स्टडीज नीडेड थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर next i would like to invite dr manjima ks on the topic anatomical aspect of pitta dara kala dr manjima are you there hello dr manjima hello dr manjima can you hear me hello doctor we can't hear your voice doctor please reconnect your headset we can't your head, uh, we can't your voice doctor we can't hear your voice doctor Hello, doctor. Am I audible, doctor? Yes, doctor. Now your voice is clear. Hello. Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Is my screen visible? Yes, doctor. Visible. Please start the session, doctor. Okay. myself dr manjima ks md final year shari rajana department government ayurveda college osmanabad and my grade is dr manisha k dawrima today i would like to present the topic anatomical aspects of pitta dara kala so introducing my topic as you all know susrutha samhita is the earliest treasure of anatomical concepts which illustrates the structures on both gross and microscopic levels kalashari is one of such concept which is described with location enumeration examples and clinical utility in garbhavyakan shari adhyayo shari sthana kala is a limiting membrane or layers in our body situated between dhadu and ashya after discovery of microscope kalashari has got its place in today's science as a separate entity of epithelium or tissue or membrane in anatomy pitta dara kala also known as grahani is the main site of agni as per rajaryas critical review study is essential on the available descriptions about pitta dara kala to understand the exact anatomic correlations aims and objectives of this paper to study and analyze the structural entity and utility of pitta dara kala in the illumination of modern anatomy review all the available literature related to pitta dara kala in classics and compare it with contemporary science now giving an introduction to kala sharir kala separates dadu and ashya it is a thin membranous entity which lines the internal cavity of ashyas blood vessels fibrous capsule of joints etc susrutha has described kala after tok in garbhavyagran adhyaya in sharistana delhana also tried to give an exact explanation on it kala have important function of either secreting enzymes or hormones absorption providing nutrition etc now kala nomenclature धातुशांद्रेद विभक्वासम सोमूष्मण श्लेषम स्नायु अभराचन कालाख्यांग टू अष्टांगे शारीस्थान द फ्लूड बिटी धातु आशिया सब्जक्ट टू दीट हीट डेवलप्ड फ्रम ऊष्मा गिव रईस टू कला द कला इज कवर्ड बै द लेयर ऑफ फ्लम मेनी डिसीस ऑफ मोडेन इरा आर् स्पेसीफिकली रिलेटेड वित् कला सच ग्रहणी वित् पिता कला दुर्मेद वित् मेधोधर कला इनफर्टिलिटी वित् शुक्रधर कला Musculoskeletal disorders with the mamsa dera kala, IBS with the purusha dera kala. Now the sabta kala sar 
ഇൻ ഓർഡർ മാംസധരകല രക്തധരകല മേധോധരകല ശ്ലേഷ്മധരകല പുരുഷധരകല പിത്തധരകല ആൻഡ് ശുക്രധരകല നൗ മൈ ടോപ്പിക് പിത്തധരകല പിത്തധരകല കംസ് സിക്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ഷഷ്ടി പിത്തധര നാമ യ ചതുർവിധ മന്നപാനം ഉപയുക്തം ആമാശത് പ്രച്യുതം പക്വാശോപസ്ഥിതം ധാരേതി അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു സുശ്രുത സംഹിത ശാരിസ്ഥാന പക്വ ആമാശ മധ്യസ്ഥ ഗ്രഹിണി പരികീർത്തിത പിത്തധരകല കം സിങ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ഇറ്റ് റിസീവ്സ് ദ ഫോർ വെറൈറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഫുഡ് പ്രൊപ്പൽഡ് ഫ്രം ആമാശ ആൻഡ് ഹോൾസ് ഇൻ പക്വാശ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ പക്വാശ ആൻഡ് ആമാശ so it states that pitadaragala is asas below to that of the asia which holds the undigested food and in the asia which propels the digested food for absorption with the function of assimilation as the sigmoid colon and rectum are termed as purisha vahasrodas and lined by purisha daragala these parts of the gt are ruled out of the discussion of pitadaragala now considering amasya from mouth to amasya four food varieties are passed in undigested form this comfortably can be termed as amasya as the fat digestion is continued till to that of jejunum it has to be considered even the duodenum is also as a part of amasya even at the jejunum absorption doesn't takes place thus till to that of ileum jejunum junction amasya extends the part between jejunum and sigmoid colon is the ileum pakko amasya madhya is anatomically pitadara kala or grahani now the embryological correlation the superior part and the upper half of descending part of duodenum are derived from foregut the rest of the duodenum develops from most proximal part of the midgut pitadarakala is pakku amasya madhyastha amasya is the part of mahashoda situated above the small intestine and also said to be situated above pittashya site of pitta is pakku amasya madhya this pitta is called agni and it has same functions like pachakagni now coming to the discussion part of my paper ajarya susrutha has stated that kala are the structures in the form of linings or limitations between dadhu and ashya according to modern point of view membrane is connective tissue can be present between present in between dadu and ashya pitadarakala occupies the part of mahasrodas mahasrodas or gat is found to be made of mucus submucous muscular and serous layer so the pitadarakala can be attributed with gat ajayi jaraga has described grahani but not pitadarakala he stated that grahani is the seat of agni according to vagbhada pitadarakala is called grahani and so it is understood that pitadaragala is same as grahani as per ashtang hridaya pitadaragala is placed in pakwasya vada agni is set with teja of pitta now concluding my paper kala is said to be snayuya jarayu and sleshmala that means these are fibrous serous and mucous in nature serially pitadaragala is the sixth one which is pakko amasya madhyastha that means it occupies the part of gat pitadaragala can be correlated with mucous membrane which extends from lower part of stomach to ileocecal junction two major functions of pitadaragala are digestion of food and absorption of digested food and to perform this it has specific morphological physiological and histological modifications thank you thank you dr manjima next i would like to invite dr nayab sheikh for the perfect presentation on the topic resexia and infertility the correlation a literature review Dr. Nayab Sheikh, are you there? Hello? Hello, Doctor. Please start the session, Doctor. Your okay, screen sir. is visible, Doctor. Okay, thank you, Sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my topic for today is Rasak Shai and the correlation with Bandhyatva. it's a literary review sir uh, i am a pg student i am doing my pg in sri roga evam i evam prasiddhi tantra so this topic has always fascinated me because um many females today are experiencing a, a lot of problems when trying to conceive major being pcod and other reasons also so i thought picking up this topic because i've thought deeply about it and uh, it really fascinates me so i would like to share with all of you my opinion on the same so as you see in today's life um, the females are uh, undergoing a lot of stress be it physical mental they are uh, they are managing many things together or uh, they are uh, doing their education doing the other jobs or managing family 
so all these things are taking a lot of toll on their lives um so yes uh, so i believe that a simple correction of rasa dhatu can do wonders in the females trying to conceive because as you all know that rasa dhatu leads to the formation of the corresponding dhatus that is rasa ashrak mounds made as timajja shukrani dhatavaha so serially one after the other dhatu is formed the final resultant being the shukra dhatu so working on the rasa dhatu itself will lead to a, a lot of positive effects on the shukra dhatu rasa dhatu being healthy will lead to shukra dhatu also being healthy so yes um, that is my basic topic basic uh, topic i want to put before you all today so i would like to uh, talk about uh, rasa dhatu in detail so rasa dhatu uh, i've put the uh, etymology of rasa dhatu right here so pu rasya rasate ras aj ya dravam sakalam deham rasati rasaha smutaha which means that um, which flows through the body is nothing but the rasa dhatu the definition of the nirukti nirukti of rasa dhatu tatra rasa gato dhatu hu aharah gachati iti rasah dhatu which is circulated continuously in the body is called rasa dhatu uh, and the last definition says that um, what the thing that results from food that is after food is processed what is formed is called as rasa dhatu so here i in every step i would like to correlate uh, the nirukti or the definition of rasa dhatu with how it can be used in vandyatva or rasakshay in vandyatva so um, um pr- having proper food can produce proper rasa dhatu which will lead to form formation of proper uh um dhatus finally being the shukra dhatu synonyms of rasa dhatu soumya soumya dhatu it's called in potency so uh, the females try to conceive can uh, can uh, consume soumya dravyas which could be helpful to them ahar prasada ahar prasada that means um something that comes from the prasad bhag bhag of the ahar taken so uh the the ahar needs to be healthy so that the prasad bhag it's it's healthy leading to the dhatu being healthy the, the sara or the extract dhatu sara ahar teja that means there's uh, the requirement of um proper the agni to process the rasa dhatu which would lead to the formation of ahar dhatu so the agni also needs to be good in the patients trying to conceive agni sambhava it is formed after the agni is acted upon it asrukar that means it leads to formation of rakta dhatu so the corresponding dhatus will also be healthy the panch mahabhut uh, predominance of rasa dhatu is rasa apyaha it's mostly the uh, aap dhatu uh, as you all know dhruvam chaturnam sanidhyat ritu purva um uh, the four constituents needed for a uh, proper formation of garbha one of which is apya so it it is again important location of the rasa dhatu is rudaya and sira rasava srotas is rasava naam srotasam rudayam mulam rasasya vahinya rasasya dhamnya uh, the biosynthesis of rasa dhatu from food so uh, it acts in two ways when the baby is in the uh, womb of the mother uh, rasa dhatu is formed from the ahar taken by the mother and when uh, after birth it is uh, rasa dhatu is from from the food acted by a uh, teja by the individual itself so uh, jatragni digest food rasa da- ahar rasa is formed from the digested part of food so ahar rasa contains nutrients of seven dhatus and that's why the ahar should also be similarly it should be highly nutritious and um, devoid of the preservatives that we are using today only then it will leave, 
early to formation of sar sar itself means the uh, extract so the extract for the extract to be good the intake has to also be good so nutrients of rasa leads to formation of uh, one posha ounce and one mala ounce so posha rasa and uh, rasa uh, rasa mal kaffa here is a short uh, short chart which shows the metabolism of rasa dhatu so digestion of food um, takes place in the um, takes place in the amasha leads to ahar rasa which is absorbed then there's action of uh, rasa agni needed for absorption and there's formation of posha rasa which goes in circulation and which uh, helps in the prenatal of every cell and then the, on the other side there is rasa mala formed which is kaffa and which is excreted yes uh, so the functions of rasa dhatu now this this shlok uh, prenatal jivanam lepaha ne sneho dharan purane parbhot badashya kriya dhatun nam shrestham karmam pramat smrutam uh, each karma is of a particular dhatu so prenatal karma is of rasa dhatu so uh, rasa dhatu does the prenatal of the body prenatal is nothing but gratification and nourishment of the body it's uh, it produces satisfaction of freshness now uh, when a seed is to be planted you cannot plant a seed in the uh, barren land you need the soil to be nice moist and fertile that is what rasa dhatu does to the body it produces a a, a land uh, appropriate for plantation Uh, prenatal apyayam effect of prenatal is compared to functions of water and i think oh, that is one uh, thing lacking in today we we almost forget to drink water so we need to keep ourselves hydrated i think that can also be a positive factor for the ones who are trying to conceive and prenatal trupti uh, trupti is rasa dhatu perfuses in the stotas of every body constituents and supplies them fluids and nutrients uh and i think here trupti uh, must be having a deeper meaning uh, that means trupti is not only mm, uh with food or water i think it's also uh, mental so uh, we need to keep our selves uh, satisfied and positive and happy i think only then can we um plan a only then can we achieve a good pregnancy healthy pregnancy so upadhatu uh, of rasa astanya and raja i hope i am audible hello hello doctor uh, am i audible yes sir voice is clear okay thank you so the disorders of rasa dhatu are rasa vriddhi rasa kshaya so uh, what can be the causes of rasa kshaya Uh, the symptoms are a uh, rocksha dryness of the skin and mucous membranes shama a feeling of tiredness even on inactivity shosha feeling of dehydration glani shabda asahishna unable to bear voice i think these are the symptoms very commonly noticed in the people who are experiencing who are going through a lot of procedures and treatments for infertility uh i think we these these symptoms are very common in them and i think what needs to be simply corrected is the rasa dhatu uh what are the functions of rasa dhatu the functions of rasa dhatu uh is sharir sharir upachay bala varna stiti hani that they are the functions of rasa dhatu um uh, it's responsible for the growth of the body the proper development of the body of the of the of the new leaf formed baby that is the fetus of uh, it leads to a proper strength of the fetus the color of the fetus the stiti hanish the the uh, the decision if it will grow or uh, decline 
the survival of decline of the fetus will depend on the rasa dhatu so the function of rasa dhatu does not only end after the person has conceived but the rasa dhatu has to be uh, healthy and appropriate all throughout the pregnancy for the proper growth and development of the baby to take place because the baby gets its rasa dhatu from the uh, from the ahar taken by the mother so the ahar of the mother plays a very important part even after pregnancy oh, we, i think we should skip this part upa dhatu ka matlab uh so here i've made a small flow chart to explain the relationship of rasa dhatu and garbhotpadan so rasa dhatu leads to formation of rakta dhatu maunsa dhatu mera dhatu asi dhatu majja dhatu and in turn shukra dhatu shukra dhatu which leads to garbhotpada shukra dhatu function is garbhotpada the function of rasa dhatu is prinana rakta dhatu is jivana mamsa dhatu is lepana mera dhatu is snehana asya is dharana and majja is purana and shukra is garbhotpadana so by cre- uh, correcting the rasak sh- uh, rasak sh- or the rasa dhatu we are um, putting all the further functions of the body in order which is the jivana lepana snehana we are putting all these uh, functions in order by correcting only the basic dhatu uh, what could be the causes of rasakshaya um now these causes i think we should correlate with uh, the the women today what we are all going through so strenuous activity not able to eat properly uh, because of uh, so many things we are handling at the same time worry worrying small uh, dry a uh, small meals and eating only one rasa out of the six rasa to remain in the wind or sun for too long emotions like fright anger dry atmosphere dry drinks like alcohol staying up at nights extra hemorrhage expulsion of semen feces species with old age due to supernatural uh, super reasons like ghost supernatural pass so i think only correction of these dhatus can can provide us a better result in conception uh, avoiding strenuous activities eating properly not worrying because as you see strenuous activities not able to eat not not eating properly worrying dry small meals emotions like anger fright dry atmosphere staying up at night extra hemorrhage all these are leading to vata prakop vata prakop uh vata prakop as we all know is the the sole reason of all the uh, yoni vikar in females so by avoiding the yoni vikar i think uh, we can achieve um uh, conception so shat bhava required for garbhadharana contains a very important um bhava which is rasa bhava so let us read the uh, six bhavas which is matruj pitruj atmaj satmaj rasaj and satvaj so all these contain rasa rasa bhava the above bhava is essential for a healthy conception to occur one of which being rasaja in this way rasa is an important factor for conception garbha sambhav sam- samagri uh, is rutu kshetra ambu beej for a seed to plant the rutu needs to be uh, the the ka- uh, the kala or the fertile period the kshetra the land needs to be good the place of conception that is the body the garbhashaya अंबू द रस धातु अंबू द रस धातु बीज द सीड शुक्र और श्री बीजा सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू पॉइंट आउट दैट हाउ मच इम्पोर्टेंट इज द रस धातु और द अंबू इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर कंसेप्शन now what are the uh, chikitsa of rasaj vikaras i think what the chikitsa of rasaj vikaras itself we can uh, we can uh, also call them as a chikitsa uh, like the basic basic approach to treating vandatva 
Uh, now here vandatva not uh, mentioning any specific type of vandatva but i just want to um, convey uh, this small idea that uh, a simple uh, correction of rasadhatu can can lead to big effects so the primary uh, treatment is langhanam um so yes uh, this uh, like um formation of arm can be treated by langana which will produce a um, swastha ahar ras and a uh, healthy rasadhatu um in turn producing or can uh, producing good shukra and leading to conception so um how can you avoid first of all if if there's arm you have to treat with langanam so how can you avoid producing arm arm so uh, what kind of ahar should you eat the female trying to conceive uh, she can have matra shi sarva kalam sarsyan matra agne pravartika so um the food should be uh in mark matra the matra according to the agni of the patient and uh, according to the patient it according to the patient it has to be guru or lagu the food intake must be in appropriate quantity it should be according with the agni because the right amount of ahar will produce a right rasa eventually leading to formation of a healthy rasa dhatu manasthiti and garbhadharana manasthiti also plays a very important part in garbhadharana as we know dormanasya avrushanam so manasthiti garbhadharana and uh, the the cause of rasavan ras, rasava rasava dush uh, dushti is rasavahini dushyanti chintanam chati chintanat so too much worrying causes um uh, um causes um it um affects the rasavah srotas producing unhealthy aharas and in turn uh, leading to bad consequences so um so manasya garbhadharanam so um the the <coughs> the patient's outlook towards her own life should be positive and happy so in this way uh, rasa and uh, rasa dhatu is con connected to vandatva so yes uh, i would like to end it saying uh, in this way i find many points uh, very similar to the both like vandatva and rasa rasa vishay um so yes that was the point i wanted to put across that basic um we should all try to correct first of all when the patient when she comes to you especially an infertility patient she's already gone through a lot and um, it's taken a toll on her life on her mental being and her physical being so first of all you can just uh, take her in your opd and just uh, try to correct her rasa by by uh, helping her with the uh, with her uh, food with the diet with the Mm, uh, her mental, uh, the mental, the mental, mentally where she is, and uh, I think that can uh, help in her conception. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite. Dr. Danishri Dilip Rawrani for the paper presentation on the topic Anubana. Dr. Danishri, are you there? Hello. Hello, doctor. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, doctor. Your voice is clear, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Okay, give me one second. I'll share the screen. Sure, doctor. Hello, is this screen is visible? Yes, doctor, visible, doctor. 
ओके हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर धनश्री रावराणे आई एम फ्रॉम द लेट केदारी रेडिकल आयुर्वेदिक महाविद्यालय आई एम फाइनल ईयर पीजी स्कॉलर एंड माय गाइड नेम इज डॉक्टर रीता एस गायकवाड़ मैम एंड माय टॉपिक इज अनुपान मींस एज यूएल इंट्रोडक्शन Ayurveda is the ancient traditional Indian system of health science. Ayurveda deals with the every aspect of life. It can be called as the science of living. Ayurveda has mainly two aims that is promotion and protection of health and secondly cure from the disease. Concept of anupan is indicated in both conditions. The references of the word anupan is not directly available in Vedic period but can be traced with the help of different aspect like achaman the pan which is taken for some of the regimen to cure the disease in sahita kal all the samhitas had explained regarding anupan and its importance in ashtang rudra it is mentioned in matra shiti adhyay in shushrut samhita there is a varga known as a anupan varga is explained in sutrasthan in charak sutrasthan detailed description of different anupanas including as was mentioned the word anupan anu means pashchat later and pan means drinking it is a liquid material which is taken along with or after the meal and drug definitions anu pashchat piyate iti anupanam anu pashchat va anusakam piyate iti anupanam annad anu pashchat piyate iti anupanam अनुपानम इति अनुपश्चात पानम तत् ऑल द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ अनुपान मेंशन अबाउ से दैट इट इज द ड्रिंक टेकन आफ्टर कंज्यूमशन ऑफ मेडिसिन और फूड सिनोनिम फॉर अनुपान अनुपान वन व्हिच इज कंज्यूम्ड अलोंग विद और आफ्टर द भेषज वाहन वन व्हिच कैरीज सहयोगी वन व्हिच ब्रिंग्स टुगेदर माध्यम वन व्हिच एक्ट्स एज मीडिया अनुतर्ष वन व्हिच इज बेनिफिशियल इन थर्स्ट functions tarpayati bring about refreshment prinayati gives pleasure urjayati gives energy vinhayati gives nourishment paryapti abhinirvartayati gives satisfaction bhukta ama amavasa dayati brings steadiness in food consumed anna sanghata vinnati helps in breakdown of food particles in the abdomen mardava mapayadayati soften the food क्लेदयति ब्रिंग द अनटर्सनेस ऑफ फूड जरियति हेल्प्स इन डाइजेशन प्रोसेसेस श्रेष्ठ अनुपान सर्वेशम अनुपानानाम माहेंद्रम तोयम उत्तमम बेस्ट अनुपान इज माहेंद्र जल द रेन वाटर बट इट शुड बी कलेक्टेड बिफोर इट फॉल्स टू अर्थ एंड यूज्ड सून आफ्टर कलेक्शन नाउ दोष एंड रोग एंड अनुपान दोष एंड रोग एंड अनुपान इन वातज रोगा वी रिकमेंडेड स्निग्ध एंड उष्ण अनुपान पित्तज रोगा मधुर एंड शीतल अनुपान कफज रोग वृक्ष एंड उष्ण अनुपान इन धातु क्षय मांस रस एंड शीर कृष व्यक्ति सुरा स्थूल व्यक्ति मधु एंड जल अग्नि मांद्य मध्य कृमि विडंग रक्त पित्त वासा ग्रहणी तक्र अजीर्ण उष्णोदक पांडु पुनर्नवा अतिसार कुटच कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फॉर अनुपान इज ऊर्ध्व जत्रुगत रोगा हिक्का श्वास कास पीणस मेदो रोग लाला प्रसेक स्वर भेद एक्सेट्रा ना कॉन्क्लूजन इट इज द युनिक कन्सेप्ट दैट इज गिफ्टेड बाय आयुर्वेदा अनुपान इज व्हेरी इसेन्शियल पार्ट इन आहार एज वेल एज औषध केअर शुड बी टेकन इन सिलेक्टिंग अनुपान सुटेबल फॉर अवर सेल्फ फॉर गेटिंग ऑल द बेनिफिशियरीज फ्रॉम इनटेक Anupan has multi-dimensional effects. It acts as a nutritive, stimulant, preventive, and curative. Now the references are here. References are here. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Anju Jain on the paper presentation of the topic relevance of acne karma in anal intraepithelial neoplasia. Dr. Anju Jain, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am here. Doctor, please start the session. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Anju Jain. I'm a PG scholar from the Department of Shalya Tantra, Sri Narayana Institute of Ayurvedic Studies and Research, Kollam, under the guidance of Dr. C. Raghunathan Nair, 
professor in HRU Department of Shalya Tantra. So today I'm here to present the topic relevance of Agni Karma or IRC that is infrared coagulopathy coagulation in anal intraepithelial neoplasia. Next. So anal intraepithelial neoplasia was first described in 1986 by Fenjoy and Nelson. It's a multifocal premalignant disease process which affects the perineal skin and anal canal, including anal transition zone. It can be divided according to three grades, that is um, AIN1, AIN2, and AIN3, according to the involvement of the epithelium. And also it can be uh, called by another term, that is anal squamous intraepithelial lesion, uh, which can be divided of two types, that is low-grade anal squamous intraepithelial neoplasia and high-grade anal squamous intraepithelial neoplasia. AIN1 is the one in which lower one third of uh, epithelium is involved and in AIN2 nuclear abnormalities affecting the lower two third of the epithelium is involved and in AIN3 the nuclear abnormalities involving full thickness of epithelium can be seen. So the prevalence and association it is more common in immunosuppressed patients and particularly in HIV positive patients the prevalence in HIV positive MSM, that is men who is having sex with men, is 26 to 36 percentage. It is often and mostly associated with HPV. And coming to the risk factors, HIV status, sexual history, history of uh, immunotherapy and history of prior ANA or perianal lesions, then CIN, that is uh, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, high-grade uh, vulvar disease, cancer, HIV, and also um, next... Perineal condylometer and transplant recipients are the uh, risk factors for AIN. And moving on to the signs and symptoms, it is often asymptomatic, but the most common presenting symptoms are pruritus, ANA, and bleeding. The signs are it is a premalignant lesion which appears as plagues and uh, mostly often found in anal wards. It is also eczematoid, papillomatous, papilla, or plague like lesions. If there is invasion, we can see induration as well as ulcerations. Then moving on to the investigations and examination, first we have to go for examination of the external genitalia and in case of women we, we can go for colposcopy and mapping biopsies and also uh, if there is a suspicious lesion we have to go for anal cytology and high resolution anoscopy. First, uh, so in order to diagnose a condition, we have to go for mapping biopsy first. And if there is any abnormality in that, you have to go for cytology, that is uh, anal cytology by using a rotating water moisture decrement swab. So if there is an abnormal cytology result you have obtained, you have to go for HRA to localize the lesion. So in case of HRA, that is high resolution anoscopy, we are using a um, powerful equipment like that of cervical colop. Um, colposcopy, uh, there will be a powerful light source and a binocular lens. So here we have to place the anoscope in the anal region, then you have to apply acetic acid, that is 3 to 5% of acetic acid into the uh, mucosa. And you can see aceto widening of the abnormal tissue compared to the normal tissue. If there is aceto widening change uh, or, or uh, flattening or slightly raised radius of the thickened mucosa, then we can see that that is an abnormality. So in order to improve uh, the visibility, we can also administer a lugolidine solution in which the abnormal cells will be remain unstained and the normal surrounding tissues will appear uh, mahogany color. So these are the acetoid changes which we will see in case of high resolution anoscopy. So the lesions identified on HRA are characterized by its color and also contour and surface configuration, configuration and also by vascular patterns. So these are the HRA uh, units and uh, next to that is colposcopy equipment. The treatment aspect is that uh, first, uh, the main motto of treatment is to prevent the progression into high grade and invasive cancer. As we know, HPV is a, a, a epitheliotrophic uh, disease which, which can involve the entire genital area and the eliminating the virus may not be possible as it is not so easy. So first we have to go for HPV vaccination. Then uh, if there are small perineal lesions, we can treat it by uh, topical agents like a pod of filotoxin, 
instead of over and liquid nitrogen if the lesions are medium and large size we have to treat it by surgical excision or electrocautery laser ablation or then photodynamic therapy or infrared coagulation the photodiagnosis and photodynamic therapy uh, are very effective nowadays so few studies show feasibility so it is under development so here the topic of interest is infrared coagulation which can be compared to the concept of acne karma which has been explained by acharya sushruta so the surgical excision is very advantageous because the tissue which is excised can be sent for histology and change at all have reported uh, rec local recurrence in two thirds of patient with hr direct surgical excision of lesion so as the recurrence rate of surgical excision is very high we have to go for another techniques which is prevalently lump used that is um, infrared coagulation so infrared coagulation is a gold is a concept or a technique which has been pioneered by uh, goldstone and it can be performed in op setting with local anesthesia as it provides good hemostasis and no smoke plume it also prevents damage to deeper tissues so this is an infrared coagulation coagulator which is used for um, coagulating these anal intraepithelial neoplasia the parts of ir coagulator are trigger hand piece light guide con contact tip and power supply so its mechanism is, mechanism is that it uses an infrared beam of light which is pulsed at 0.5 to 3 seconds intervals the depth of हेलो डॉक्टर हेलो डॉक्टर अंजू हेलो डॉक्टर अंजू कैन यू हेयर मी Okay, next. Next, we go to the next presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Sunindha Ram Matkar for the paper presentation on the topic Arjuna Chikitsa case study. Dr. Sunindha, are you there? Dr. Sunindha, are you there? Dr. Sunindha Matkar, are you there? Doctor, please unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, doctor. Uh, I'm audible. Yes, doctor. Please uh, share the yeah, screen sir. and start the session, doctor. Yeah. Uh, can you please play my uh, PPT? Uh, on me, doctor. Doctor, please send me the PPT to my WhatsApp. Uh, I have WhatsApp you. One minute. Hello, sir. Sir, it's me. Hello, doctor. Yeah. Is it Doctor Anju? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. doctor. Yes, doctor. 
one minute dr sunanda dr anju please continue the session okay uh yeah okay okay, okay sir thank you okay doctor can you share the screen sure doctor one minute yeah please continue doctor Hello. Hello, doctor. Screen is visible. Hello. Yeah, it's visible for me. Can I start? Sure, doctor. Please start the session. Okay. Thank you. So, um, moving on to the technique of infrared coagulation, uh, as it provides good hemostasis and no smoke plume, and uh, as it also prevents damage to the deeper tissue, which can be used here. This, so, uh, the session goes like this. you have to touch the lesion with the irc and uh, you should fire the mass lesion with for just 1.5 seconds you have to repeat it as necessary to remove the lesion if the patient should expect a uh, one to two weeks of pain and bleeding with the bowel movements after this yes. hello hello doctor please change this slide one minute doctor yeah. so moving on to the concept of agni karma in between one slide is there. two slides are there yeah so acharya charaga has explained the goal of this is drupal next slide next so pattern next slide please so infrared and heat any source which has temperature can radiate infrared so the warmer the object the more the infrared it emits so this is a concept in which we can compare the infrared concept of infrared with that of agni karma so agni karma as we know agni na krutva yat karma agni sambandhe va yat karma tad agni karma there is a definition which has been given for agni karma and also it is explained that it is better than akshara Among the karma and apunar bhava, due to samik that if we are obtaining a samik, then uh, there will not be recurrence of the condition which has been treated with agni karma. So those diseases which cannot be cured by bhesha, shastra, shara can be cured easily by that of agni karma, according to Acharya. So it can be done in all riddhus except shara and grishma. In atya yoga or ashu prana vinasha condition, it can be also done in shara as well as grishma. This is amik dagda. It uh, shows kapoda varna, alpa shwedu, alpa vedana, shushka sankujida vrena, anava gharam, thala varnam, and sam samstitam. So moving on to the conclusion, there are different challenges in the diagnosis of AIN as it is very difficult to uh, differentiate whether the lesion is malignant or benign. So um, and also there is a highly high recurrence rate in case of surgical excision as, as so we have to go for HPV vaccination also for this. So in this case. IRC can be compared to and also uh, like uh, even if the surgical excision shows a higher rate of recurrence, we have to go for very sophisticated techniques which which can prevent a recurrence and also uh, development to a higher grade carcinoma. So for that, IRC is very useful and this concept of IRC can be compared to the modern development of acne karma. So since it is it has apunavava property, it prevents the development into high grade invasive cancer. Thank you. And I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. I don't know what what happened, really. No problem, doctor. Thank you. Thank you.
Next, I would like to invite Dr. Sunanda. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Uh, doctor, can you please uh, play my slides? One minute, Doctor. One minute. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Uh, yeah, uh, my topic is Ardit, a case study. Uh, myself, Dr. Sunanda Matkar from JMRC Shiroda, and my guide is Dr. Mitun Bondre, uh, JMRC Shiroda. Second slide, please. Uh, as as all of uh, all of us know that Ardit can be considered as a Bell's palsy, can be correlated with a modern Bell's palsy. It is, it is considered as one among the 80 Vata Nanatmaj Vadis. And uh, in modern, it can be correlated with the Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is a condition that develops uh, due to the paralysis of facial nerve. The facial nerve which affected in a Bell's palsy. Introduction, idiopathic facial nerve palsy or Bell's palsy is a common condition affecting all ages and both sexes. The facial nerve controls the blinking of eyes, facial expressions, smiling and frowning. The tear glands, salivary glands, the muscle of small bone in middle bones called the steps, taste sensation. The causes for the Bell's palsy are trauma, infections such as external otitis, otitis, metabolic disorders like diabetic, hypertension, and idiopathic causes like familial, Bell's palsy, autoimmune syndrome, etc. Ardit is one among the Nanatmaj Vatavadi. They say that Ardayati, Pideyati, Iti Ardita, which means the disease which affects the half of the face gets infected. The condition is termed as Ardita. It also means injured, begging, Paint and afflicted. The nidan, the nidan that is the causes for the ardita are excessive speaking or loud speaking, lifting or carry heavy weight, sleeping on uneven service surfaces or sleeping on undesired places are the causes told in our classic. And also the person who are suffering from the rakta dhatu shaya are causes for the ardita. This is the samprapti and Samprapti Vigatan. Next slide, please. The Samprapti Ghatakas are Dosha, that is Vata Pradhana. It can be also three Doshas. Dushas are Rasa Rakta Mausa, Sira and Snayu. Agni is a Vishamagni and Srotas, that is Rasa Vaha, Rakta Vaha, Mausa Vaha and Prana Vaha. Case study. Uh, in our hospital, that is KD Hospital, Goa, 56, uh, 56 years male patient reported having a mukha vakrata and dropping of left eye with slurred speech uh, since four to five days. The vitals were normal. He has given a treatment as follows. That is Bruhatvat Chintamani, one tablet on empty stomach morning. Yogendra Rasa, one in, the, one in the evening on empty stomach. Rasa Raja Rasa and Suvarna Malini Vasant, one each at night on empty stomach, Nero XT 111 after food, and Shirbala capsule 111 after food. He also received a Panchakarma treatment that is Niru and Anuvasan, Niru with Rashamulakvat and Anuvasan with Shirbala Tail. It is alternate and Nasa with Panchendriya Vardhan Tail, twice six, six drops in each nostril, Shirodhara with Brahmi Tail in the evening, and full body massage with the Shirabala Taila and Peti Swet. The observation and results after completion of seven days Ayurvedic treatment, including the Panchakarma treatment, the patient got a complete relief in pain in eyes with complete closing of eyes and marked improvement was seen in deviation of mouth, slurred speech, eating or drinking difficulty. Discussion. In Ardita, there is mainly the vishyashan of Vata Dosha. Vata is responsible for all the activities of body, so the sensory and motor activities can be 
attained properly by the normalcy of water here we have adopted bruhan type of treatment for correcting aggravated vata dosha and nourishes the vessels and provide a strength to the facial muscles shirabala tel as we know it is a snake the ushna and vata shama properties which controls the vitiated vayu <clears throat> in case of nasya therapy medicated oil medicated oil is inserted which reaches the shringatak marma second slide please yeah bruhat uh, internal medicine whatever we have given is bruhatvat chintamani which contains the swarna bhasma rajata bhasma abrak bhasma uh, mukta bhasma suta bhasma which is processed with aloe vera juice rasaraj rasa which contains parad abrak gandhak loha bhasma swarna bhasma mukta vanga bhasma yogendra ras which contains the swarna bhasma rasa sindura abrak bhasma uh kanta loha basma which is processed with kumari swaras all these drugs act as a nervine tonic they give a strength to the muscle kumari is the rakta prasadak uh, suvarna is brohan and also suppresses the nerve inflammation vata shulagna that is anti neuralgic that is opte basma dashmula shilajit are having a vata shulagna property whereas the suvarna basma rope basma have a वातवह नाड़ी पुष्टिकर दैट इज नर्माइन टॉनिक वेर एज मस्तिष्क सुषमुना उत्तेजक दैट इज ब्रेन स्टिम्युलेंट वेर एज अब्रक भस्म इज संकोच हर दैट इज एंटी स्पॉजमोडिक एक्टिविटीज नेक्स्ट लाइफ प्लीज आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग दिस केस वी कैन से दैट आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट विथ पंचकर्म एक्ट वेरी नाइसली ऑन फेशियल नव पालसी still further improvement can be done by taking a random control trials these are the references thank you everyone thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr shivani pande for the paper presentation on the topic tarpana dr shivani are you there yes sir hello am yeah, i audible okay. oh, yes doctor audible doctor Uh, is my screen visible to everyone yes doctor visible doctor yeah uh, hello everyone my name is dr shivani pande i am a pg scholar uh, pursuing my post graduation in shalakya tantra department from gadingles kolapur uh, my guide's name is dr p pool dr poonam belgaonkar in uh, ms in shalakya tantra netra roga reader department in shalakya tantra uh, the topic today i am going to present is tarpan in ayurveda kriya kalpas are unique procedures practiced in shalakya tantra having wide range of implications in the management of netra vikaras mm -hmm. among all kriya kalpas netra tarpan is the foremost procedure for eye, eye disorders mm -hmm. netra tarpan means ayurvedic eye rejuvenation netra means eye and tarpan means giving strength to the eyes the procedure involves three steps that is purva karma pradhan karma and pashchat karma in purva karma preparation of the patient wherein the patient is thoroughly examined the prakriti is examined and the vikriti are documented in details the disease is also examined the treatment lined up materials and medicines which need to be used are enlisted the eligibility of the patient to undergo the treatment should be assessed in pradhan karma that is the proper way conducting the netra tarpan therapy mm -hmm. uh, after examining and explaining the patient method of treatment in detail he or she shall be taken to a place devoid of heavy breeze or air to conduct akshi tarpan treatment 
season and time of tarpan treatment the treatment shall be done in sadharan kal that is the season which is neither too hot neither too cold and when there is no rain or sky enveloped with clouds the treatment should be conducted either in the morning time or evening time or both times if the condition of the disease demands an extra attention the position of the patient should be supine and will be given neck support construction of the netra tarpan cabinet ring around the eye the rings of the flower which were kept ready in the purva karma are inserted over the eye sockets such that the eye are enclosed within the respective rings the junctions of the rings with eye sockets are sealed with wet flour so that the medicament does not leak or escape during the procedure of the treatment filling the tarpan ring with medicine the medicated ghrit which was melted and kept warm in the purva karma is gently poured in the netra tarpan cabinets such that the eyes are dipped within the medicine the patient is advised to close the eyes while dropping the dropping the medicine in the ring later on he or she is instructed to open and close the eyes repeatedly so that the interior of the eyes come into the contact of the medicine intermittently the medicaments are left in place for a fixed duration of time the patient might experience burning sensation during the procedure of the treatment but he or she should be intimated that it is quite natural to happen the irritation will come down once the medicines are removed in paschat karma that is the post treatment removal of the medicine the medicine is removed by creating a small hole in the lower portion of the wall of the flower ring at the outer angle of the eye and draining the contents in a bowl alternately the wall of the ring is broken at the outer canthus and the contents are drained in a bowl wiping the eyes and the surrounding area the medicine sticking to the eye and the sockets are swabbed out by wiping them off with the help of a sterile cotton pad or a tissue paper later the eyes can be wiped off gently with a sterile cloth dipped in warm water or the same cloth need to be given gentle fomentation to the eyes the benefits of tarpan are reduces burning of eyes improves blurred vision moisturizes dry eye cleans the eyes removing dust from cornea relieves eye tiredness to decrease spectacle number etc the indications are of tarpan dry eye syndrome burning in the eyes vat diseases conjunctivitis pain in the eyes watering in the eyes myopia night blindness etc samyak trupt lakshan of tarpan are prakash shamata that is tolerance to light i can tolerate light falling on it visha the lochanam clarity of vision laghu lochanam feeling of lightness in the eye sukha swapna good sleep sukha avabodhanam that is good awakening varna patavam that is proper perception of all the colors from the eye and proper establishment of normal colors in the mandalas of the eye like the white of the uh, the like layers in the eyes regains its white color etc ati trupt lakshan guru netrata heaviness of the eye avilam avimalam that is dirtiness of the eye atistigdada that is excessive anaknas or oiliness of the eye ashru excessive lacrimation kandu itching of the eye upadeha coating in the eyes then heen trupt lakshan netra rukshata that is dryness of the eye ashrukshavata that is lacrimation and vyadhi vridhi aggravation of the disease the conclusion of my topic is the eye is main sense organ gifted by god to human beings ayurveda the ancient system of medicine gives valuable guidelines not only in the treatment aspects but also in preventive line mm-hmm. netra tarpan karma is one of the local therapeutic procedure which is promptly used shows objective evidences of excellent responses the references are as follows ashtang hriday sushrut etc here all i end my topic thank you so much thank you dr shivani thank you sir next i would like to invite dr mahandesh khairman for the paper presentation on the topic geriatrics management in ayurveda dr mahandesh are you there
Doctor, please unmute. Hello, doctor. Uh, sir, audible, sir? Yes, doctor, audible. Hi, sir. Sir, myself, Dr. Mantesh Remet. The uh, our our guide is Dr. Vinay Mohan, the head of the department. Then our uh, co-guide is Dr. G. S. Dharman Navar. My topic is geriatric management in Ayurveda. The introduction. Jara Jara in our classical has been mentioned under Sobhaika Vadi, which means aging is natural, progressive, physiological, and psychological changes. Getting old is an in individual part of life, but the problem of aging population are many. Also, aging has become a social problem as the modern society does not meet the needs of elderly people. Ayurveda is the science of life where, where the concept of aging and rejuvenation finds predominant place. Basayana Tantra is one of the eight major specialty of the holistic health science which offers the comprehensive and psychological and metabolical restoration. Rasayana Chikista mainly aims to prevent early aging and promote the longevity. Then the concept of Vaya, Balya was up to 16 years, the Madhyama was 16 to 17 years, the Ruddha was uh, above 60 years. Uh, who defends elder, elderly as, as the, uh, those more than 65 years? The concept of Jara, Jaranam Ruddhakayam, the, the quality of Datus are affected in old days and it is the period of when vata dosha dominates and gradually the body under undergoes degeneration the uh, genetics the branch of medicine the dealing with physiological of aging the diagnosis and the treatment of the disease affecting the aged the, the akala jarana nidana atimarga gamana manovayata adichinta shoka atishita ahara sevana sadhu uh, means Hello, doctor. ha sir Hello, uh, doctor, your screen is not moving, doctor. Uh, yes, sir, it's moving, sir. Uh, it is in first, uh, the, uh, the college name. Uh... Yes, doctor, yes, doctor. Now the screen is moving, doctor. Okay. Uh, sir, now is... is yes, it doctor, moving? it is moving, doctor. Okay, okay, okay. sir. Okay, okay sir. doctor. Akala Jarana Nidana, Ati Marga Gamana, Manovate, Ati Chinta, Shoka, Ati Shita, Ahara Sevana, Shad uh, means uh, Shad Maitana with Rudhisri, then Samprapti. The, the increase, in, increase of Vata Dosha in old age causes of Shaya of Rasadatu. This affect formation of uh, other Datus and impaired nourishment of the successive Datus, affect of Oja resulting in Jara. Jara Sarupa, Adni Mandya, Sahasa Hinata. Chinta Ati Kroda Jiva Kampa Danta then Danta means Hasta Pada Shet Kampa Smurti Nasha Kasa Shasha Valita Palita Sobava Viparya Hridmana Dhatu Balle Vira Patana. Then common genetic problems poor nutrition, infection, urinary incontinence, dizziness, hot failure, fluid imbalance, hypertension, diabetic mellitus, peptic ulcer, anemia, painful joints, and bone disease and, and fracture immobility, stroke, and uh, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and, and more. The Jara Chikista. In Jara, following the treatment can be helpful. The first one is Nidana Parivarjana. Second is Rasayana Prayoga. In the Rasayana, Labo Pahi Sastanam Rasadi. Rasadinam Rasayana. The Rasayana is the one, uh, one which nourishes all Rasadi Saptadatus. Rasayana Cha Jarabadi Pratigata Kriyate. The Rasayana stands as answers to solve the problems to, of early aging. Rasayana Yoga helps to maintain healthy longer to also provides resistance against the disease. The mode of action Rasayana. Rasayana is the first one, the Rasa Agni Srotas. In that, uh, improve the nourishment and then improves the quality of tissue in that vadi nasha ruddhi jara nasha may the resurrection in that uh, these are yogas the chanaprasna rasayana amalaki rasayana then haritaki rasayana shivagutika rasayana trifala rasayana then brahmi rasayana then uh, some are uh, the disease the uh, special for uh, uh, eye disease in the in that trifala uh, uh, then uh, 
narasimha churna the heart disease arjuna guggolo then uh, pushkara mola skin disease in that balataka gandaka vidanga tuberculosis shilaj do pippali then in the asthma agastya agastya rasayana and balataka and rheumatoid arthritis balataka kupilo rasavana diabetic in that shilajattu amalaki guduchi hypertension in that rasavana ashwagandha then sarpagandha psychosis the brahmi shanka pushpi eshtipanu then teeth disorder tailor saina uh, krishna taila then the final uh, discussion uh, when to start rasayana purva vyase madhya va the to prevent a kalaj jara to get better result the rasayana prayoga is done purva madhya vaya the when, uh, what purva karma should be followed the prayer of rasayana prayoga shodhana is, is to be done prayer rasayana prayoga if not possible then depending upon the age dosha avastha vala select appropriate shodhana how to decide dosh uh, dose of and ideal time not mentioned the exact dose am the amalaki phalavat udum uh, udumbara phalavat dose shall be depend upon the agni ideal time uh, prata kala empty stomach what are the nitya karma to be followed abhyanga pratimashanash acharashana shadruta palana all all these act rasayana helpful preventing the ex- existing jaras conclusion healthness of uh, rasakriya dhatus which extends the jara cure disease and enhances the quality of uh, life rasayana rasayana they act antioxidant and immobilizer as the consisting of different active principle they nourishes by adding nutrition of the body ayurveda has given prime uh, prime importance of rudopachara we get the lot of rasayana yoga in samhita granthas which are more beneficial in preventing and extincting jaras this all reference the so thank you thank you doctor thank you sir next i would like to invite dr shivajyoti s yes, on the paper presentation on the topic and in study of evaluate the effect, effect of wheat collected from cow dung as diet in prameha type 2 diabetic mildew dr shivajyoti are you there dr shivajyoti please unmute yourself hello dr shivajyoti Hello, Dr. Shivajodhi. Can you hear me? Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Akhinna Shishitharan on the paper presentation for the topic identification and the interpretation. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Dr. Shivajodhi. So, sorry, doctor. Sorry, doctor. Okay, doctor. That Please was a network doctor. issue. I have joined. Okay, doctor. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hello, doctor. Please share. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I share? Yes, doctor. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Uh. My 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 screen is visible. Yes, doctor. The screen is visible, doctor. Yes. Please turn on your PPT. Yeah. Can I start my presentation? Sure, doctor. Please start this. Yeah. So, uh, good evening, one and all. So, uh. Uh, uh, my topic of presentation is an in-vivo study to evaluate the effect of wheat collected from cow dung as a diet in Pramaya type 2 diabetes mellitus. So this is the shloka as mentioned in Charak Samhita. Karashto go hamsa prashat brutanam tata evanam vividasya vakshyaha deya sutta vinu yava evanam kalpa. So, 
so uh, the same or a similar shloka or a similar diet for diabetes diabetes or prameha is prescribed in all the samhitas like in shishtha also it is available in ashtanga daya in ashtanga sangraha wheat and uh, yava has to be uh, fed to cow and then it has to be collected from the cow. here we know very well diabetes is compared sorry prameha is compared to type of diabetes malaria we can compare it to some extent and uh, we you know the importance of uh, 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 diet in type of diabetes mellitus all the three things like diet uh, uh, lifestyle modification and medicines all the three uh, play a very very important role in the treatment or management of type 2 diabetes mellitus so uh, a, a literature review has been done from all these previous uh, uh, Then and articles and uh, various other uh, 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 previous works done on diabetes mellitus. And uh, uh, after going through the search engines, there were some uh, uh, articles found uh, in relation to this. But most of them are related to one or other some other diet uh, preparations or diet uh, modifications, not as such that we collected from cow dung. So here we the aim of uh, aim of the study is to analyze the diet function for from a high nervity classical textbooks and evaluate the wheat collected from powder in in vivo and in vitro. The objective is to perform nutritional analysis, proximal analysis of wheat collected from the cow to evaluate the in vivo anti-hypoglycemic -hypo effect of wheat collected from cow dung in rats with induced type two diabetes mellitus. So. हेलो डॉक्टर शिवज्योति विजिबल हेलो डॉक्टर माय माय स्क्रीन इज स्टिल विजिबल नॉट विजिबल डॉक्टर नो जस्ट जस्ट हां Yeah, is it visible now? Yes, doctor. Now it seems visible. Yes, can be doctor. Yeah, yeah. So the grains were collected and then they have been uh, uh, washed and then dried very well. After drying well, they are uh, made into powder. Atta is prepared, and then it is used for in vivo study. So the uh, approval from IAC committee of uh, B R Nata College of Pharmacy, uh, Mansour, Madhya Pradesh is obtained. This is the IAC approval number, and before uh, starting uh, uh, the uh, uh, study, acute oral toxicity was uh, study was done, and the LD50 value uh, is decided. And based on that LD50 value, maximum minimum dose for in vivo study is decided. So the experimental groups were the experimental groups.
contains six uh, groups uh, uh, group 1 normal control group group 2 diabetes model control group <coughs> group 3 is diabetes uh, wherein plain wheat is uh, fed in the uh, uh, dose of 200 mg per kg body weight and uh, group 4 is uh, cow dung wheat wherein 200 mg per kg body weight is the dose given and for uh, uh, next group the uh, dose is uh, 400 mg per kg body weight and the last group is diabetes induced and a carbose was fed at the dose of over 40 mg per 100 mg body weight so induction of diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus was indexed, induced using streptozotocin intraperitoneal injection uh, at the dose of 45 uh, mg per kg of body weight and this is the uh, 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 this is the formula based on which the dose of stz stz is calculated and the stz is made into a solution in 0.9 percentage of normal saline and then it has been given intraperitoneally single injection and the dose of solution is also calculated uh, and administered to all the animals except those six animals in group 1 so uh, uh, for uh, fixing of dose the dose is fixed as uh, dose of uh, wheat flour is in mg is equal to weight of the rat into dose per kg body weight that is 200 mg in minimum dose and 400 mg in maximum dose divided by 1000 thus the dose is decided and daily the doses were administered first a solution of this uh, wheat flour is prepared using cmc that is uh, carboxymethyl uh, cellulose and the solution is then uh, fed orally using a gavage tube Uh, to all the rats uh, except those rats in normal group and diabetes control group so the dose of the suspension is calculated using this formula dose of wheat flour per body weight of the rat by uh, divided by quantity of wheat flour in 1 ml of suspension and these were the objective parameters that were observed uh, in this study the weight of the rats fasting blood glucose uh, to confirm the inducing induction of type 2 diabetes mellitus post postprandial blood glucose both one hourly and then two hourly postprandial blood glucose was checked serum lipid profile which contain total cholesterol high hdl ldl and triglycerides and then serum urea and serum creatinine these were the objective criteria that were uh, observed for so i am skipping out uh, this uh, basic uh, literature review on uh, diabetes mellitus yes here i would like to uh, highlight role of alpha amylase and gluco alpha glucosidase in carbohydrate metabolism that is uh, sucrose lactose and starch are the three major source of carbohydrates in human diet generally hydrolysis of this carbohydrate such as starch in the is the major source of glucose in blood pancreatic alpha amylase and intestinal alpha glucosidase are key yeah. enzymes hydrolyzing oh, the yeah. alpha uh, uh, 1 4 glucosidase linkages saliva also contains alpha amylase and, and pancreatic juice also uh, pancreatic juice also contains alpha amylase so very important or a very known established drug is acarbose which is a very known uh, 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 very known alpha glucosidase inhibitor which is uh, at present commonly used in uh, the treatment of diabetes mellitus so that uh, animals that are selected uh, or mentioned in the uh, uh, text uh, uh, for uh, for to be fed uh, with uh, wheat or uh, yava or veni yava or most of them are ruminants or non ruminants but the common thread is all of these animal contain a fermentative chamber either foregut or hindgut fermentative chambers and uh, all of them are herbivores so that a good quantity of grains can be fed to them and all of them contain a fermenting vat or a fermenting chamber yes so i am directly moving on to the uh, results part wherein the nutritional value of the wheat fed to cow or as follows like uh, the 1000 grain weight has reduced considerably because the grain is soaked and then it is uh, uh, dried up that may be the reason why the 1000 grain weight is reduced and the grain color is also has become light yellowish in color 
the crude protein is uh, 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 10.77% WRW, crude fiber is 3.29% WRW, fat is 4.94% uh, WRW, and 1.36 WRW is the ash value, uh, weight by weight. And the there are there was no there were no sugars and starch is estimated at as a 56.89 percentage weight bar weight. Uh, uh, calcium is 891.99 mg per kg. Zinc is uh, uh, 46.88 mg per kg. Magnesium is uh, 9.16.74 mg per kg. And the calorific value is 366.02 kilocalories per hundred grams. And wet gluten is uh, estimated to be. 13.40 percentage WRW and dry gluten is 10.44 percentage. Yeast and mold counts are 400 CFU per gram, which means that uh, this uh, wheat is edible, edible uh, or uh, suitable, compatible for human ingestion. And in vitro protein digestibility has shown that 68.06 percentage WRW is the protein digestibility in vitro. And the in vitro starch digestibility is 63.70 mg per gram. So uh, uh, these were the results. Uh, in brief, the body weights of the uh, rats which were induced with diabetes mellitus have started to uh, reduce rather than increasing. If we see the normal body weight of the normal control groups, that is in rats which were not induced with diabetes mellitus, have increased in a uh, week's time or uh, uh, after uh, every week but in case of diabetes group and other groups they have started to reduce because of the induced diabetes but if we compare at the 14th day the weight reduction in the diabetes control group is uh, uh, is higher and uh, whereas the weight reduction in the groups which were fed with uh, cow dung wheat in 200 mg per kg dose and also in 400 mg per kg dose were not that significant. That is, it, this wheat prevents weight loss due to diabetes. Same in the case of uh, 28th day and also uh, uh, we can see that uh, the, uh, the, the main body weight of uh, 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 cow dung wheat at 400 mg per kg body weight is statistically highly significant in comparison to the diabetes control group at a p-value of 0.001 on the 28th day, which shows that this wheat can prevent weight loss in case of a diabetes. And uh, com coming to the postprandial blood glucose, uh, one hour postprandial blood glucose, the postprandial blood glucose is statistically significantly less in case of a uh, cow dung wheat at a dose of 200 mg per kg body weight at 14th day we can see the mean is 230.78 plus or minus 4.78 and uh, 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 same in case of uh, uh, 400 mg uh, per kg body weight group so which 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 indicates that this wheat the the, the cow dung uh, wheat can uh, effectively uh, reduce the uh, uh, blood glucose levels postprandially and similarly, if we go to uh, total cholesterol, if we when compared with the normal control group, uh, sorry, diabetes control group, the groups fed with cow dung wheat have got a lesser to lesser cholesterol levels. And similarly, in case of we can see here, the diabetic control group is 102.51 plus or minus 1.60, whereas the cow dung wheat is 92.21 and 400 mg per kg body weight cow dung wheat group is 89.18 plus or minus 3.67, which is statistically highly significant. Same is in the case of high density lipoproteins, and also same in case similarly in case of low density lipoproteins, which indicates that this wheat obtained from uh, after uh, from the cow dung uh, when they when it is used for preparation of any diet for a diabetes patient. It can control hyperlipidemia, which is very commonly used to be associated with uh, diabetes mellitus. And serum urea and serum creatinine is also statistically significantly reduced in case of uh, these uh, test wheat groups, which is uh, uh, very much significantly reduced uh, in compared to the diabetes control groups, which shows that the nephrotoxicity can also be uh, 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 
which can can also be controlled so uh, we can say like uh, nutritional value is indicates that the there are no much difference between normal wheat plain wheat and this uh, wheat collected from cow dung this may be because the hull is not broken the uh, uh, the grain is not chewed and that is why maybe just uh, the wheat is soaked in the enzymes and other uh, liquids uh, present in the gi tract of the cow that may be the reason there is no much difference in the um, uh, nutritional value of this uh, wheat but if we if we consider the uh, if we consider the anti hyperglycemic activity this uh, this wheat that is obtained from uh, cow dung can effectively used as a a uh, diet in type 2 diabetes mellitus patients for the control of postprandial blood glucose uh, which may be because this wheat is uh, uh, is inhibiting alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase which are the general uh, enzymes that break down or hydrolyze carbohydrates like starch in our food and increase the uh, blood glucose postprandially so we can conclude like various conclusions can be drawn from the study or the output of wheat fed to cow and collected from its dung has a loss of grain to the level of approximately 1 by 3rd of the quantity of grains fed the grains show no much difference in the nutritional value in comparison to normal or plain wheat there is significantly difference in alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase inhibitory activity of cow dung wheat which may be leading to hyper anti hyperglycemic effect in the in vivo studies The in vivo study shows that the cow dung wheat is significantly effective in reducing postprandial blood glucose from 14 days of dosing in the dose of 200 mg per kg body weight and anti hyperglycemic effect increasing with the increase in the dose of 400 mg per kg body weight in diabetes induced diet the cow dung wheat is effective in reducing the weight loss due to diabetes in diabetic rats the cow dung wheat is effective in reducing the total cholesterol triglycerides and ldl lipopro ldl in diabetic induced rats it is effective in inhibiting the reduction of high density lipoprotein in diabetes induced rat and the wheat fed to cow uh, and collected from its dung can be used as a patya diet for type 2 diabetes mellitus patients thank you thank you dr shivakanti next i would like to invite dr akhina shashidharan for the paper presentation on the topic identification and interpretation of arthavati and vibhatiya tantra yukti in charaka samhita dr akhina shashidharan yes uh, good evening i am audible sir yes dr audible thank you yeah. is it visible sir yes dr okay, visible a good evening uh, myself dr akina sheshidharan associate professor sanskrit ayurveda medical college and hospital madura today my topic of uh, presentation is identification and interpretation of atapati and vipraya tantra yukti in charaka samhita so coming to the uh, introduction Samhitas contains treasures of knowledge told by Acharyas in the form of sutra, which are the concise, precise, and multi-dimensional. Samhitas are written in ancient times when Sanskrit was a very common language. Samhitas written method me methodically and need to be read and understood methodically. To decode the Samhitas, knowing the method used to write the script, script scripture is essential. So, Tantra Yukti. is a methodology or a device which is widely used to understand and compose shastra grandas during a particular time period tantra yukti help to understand the shastras in depth and its application in apt way so tantra yukti is applied and slogas here in my presentation i uh, have taken uh, uh, arthapati and vipariya tantra yukti and it is applied in the slogas and meaning were interpreted So coming to the tantra yukti definition, it is composed of two words tantra and yukti. Uh, tan thadu with suffix tran. Tan means capacity to get elaborate, extend, stretch, and compose, and stran means an instrument or a 
two. Ayukti, uh, which means joint, employ, and combined with the suffix thin. That is, tandra yukti is a tool or methodology to conjoin or aggravate the subject while composing a text in a logical way. The coming to the prayojan of tandra yukti, two examples were given by Ajarya to understand the, uh, to explain the uh, prayojan of tandra yukti, that is, the lotus blossoms when the sun rays falls over it. And the light of a lamp illuminates a dark house. The former indicates that with the help of a tantra yukti, concept which are described in short can be elaborated. And the later helps to understand that with the help of tantra yukti, the good arthas in the tantra can be highlighted. It is having vakya yojana. It helps in vakya yojana and artha yojana. Vakya yojana is nothing but uh, it is a coordination of sentences which are otherwise scattered and artha yojana means bringing to light or organizing words. Coming to the importance of tantrivti, a person who has learned tantrivti can attain the deepest meaning of the science irrespective of the stream and a physician without the knowledge of tantrivti will ruin others and himself as a fool and skillfully uses a weapon he is holding. Tantrivti are explained by Brihatrais and also other Ajaryas like Charaga Samhita, Charaga Acharya explained 36 Sandrikti, Susra Samhita 32, Ashtanga Sankraha 36, Ashtanga Hridaya. There is no direct use of the word Tandrikti there. Tandraguna is explained, but Aruna Datta explained that uh, Tandrikti, Tandraguna means Tandrikti. But Tara Harichandra explained 40 Tandriktis, Vishnu Dharmotra Purana. 32 Tantraiktis were explained and Kaudali Artha Shastra 32 and also all the famous commentators of Charya Samhita, Susruta Samhita, Nashtang Hridaya and Sankarha explained about Tantraiktis. These are the list of Tantraiktis explained by different Ajaryas. So Adhigarana, Yoga, Hedvartha, Padartha, Pradesha, Desha, Nardesha, Vakya, Shesha, Prayojana, Upadesha, Abadesha, Adidesha Artapati. So we can see that Artapati is mentioned by all the Ajaryas. Nirnaya, Prasanka, Eganda, Neganda, Abhavarga, Vibhariya. Vibhariya is also mentioned by all the Ajaryas. Purva Paksha, Vidana Numada, Vyakhyana, Samshaya, Adidaveksha, Nagadaveksha, Sosatnya, Uhya, Samuchya, Nadarshana, Nirvachana, Sunni Yoga, Vikalpa, Pratyutsara, Uttara, Sampava. So the number and names in Charya Samhita, Ishtanga Sankraha, and Arunadatta commentary on Ishtanga Hridaya are seen. Susruta Charya has not mentioned Pratyutsara, Uddara, Sambhava, and Priyojana. The additional Tantra Yukti mentioned by Patara Harichandra, Pariprashna, Vyakarna, Vyukkanda Abhidana, and Hedu. According to Chakrapani, the, uh, the Tantra Yukti is, uh, can be included in the ones already stated. That is the additional one which is mentioned. Example, uh, that is uh, in Chakrapani explained that uh, Pariprashna can be included under Udesha, Yagarna under Vyakhyana, Yukka and Abhidana under Nirdesha, and Hedu under Pratikshadi Pramanas. Uh, coming to the explanation of Vipariya Tandra Yukti, so in my presentation I have taken uh, two Tandra Yuktis because Arthapati and Vipariya I have, I, I have chosen because both uh, while seeing or while, while going through both the uh, Tantra Yuktis, we feel many similarities or understanding will be dif difficult. To dif differentiate between two Tantra Yuktis are difficult. That's why I have taken this two Tantra Yuktis. So coming to the explanation of Vibariya Tantra Yukti, uh, if you go through the uh, explanation given by Vishnu Dharmotra Purana, Tantra Yukti Vichara, Kaudali Artha Shastra, we can see the definitions like this here. Pradilomium vipariyaha, uktartava viridhyena lakshanam syad vipariyaha, pradilomena sadhanam vipariyaha, vipridham adrishtasya iti. So all this uh, give the same meaning that it's a statement of contradictory. For understanding the contrary, uh, contra, uh, contrary idea along with what has been stated, that is explained by Susrodha Charya and Vibariya Nama, Uktasya Anyadha Bhavo Vibariya, that is by Hindu and Arunadatta, also same meaning that is indicating the opposite Lakshana along with one which has which are mentioned. So when we go through all the 
explanation of Viparya, we can see almost all the Ajarya has explained uh, Viparya Tandravitya as the same. So coming to the interpretation of Viparya Tandravitya uh, in applying the uh, Charaka Samhita, that is here in my presentation, I have taken the examples from Vimanasthana, especially from Vimanasthana and Sutrasthana. So when we go through the Charaka Vimanasthana third chapter, that is in the Janapado Dhamsaniyatiaya, the lectionals of Dushitavayu, Jalabhumi and Kalar are uh, explained. And these are the Karanas for Janapado Dhamsa Vyadis. And after that explanation, it is mentioned that the lakshana opposite to that of the above mentioned lakshana is a reason for help. So by applying this Vipariya Tantripti, one has to understand that the opposite for each Tadushita lakshana should be understood here. That is, for example, like the opposite that of Adhistimida, that is too much calm. Adhistimida Vayu is Anadhistimida. And opposite of Adichala, that is Anadichala. Here, uh, opposite, that is Vipariya Tandriti is applied to understand this one. Next example, for the interpretation of Vipariya Tandriti, the same chapter, the Janavadodham Sadhyaya, the Vimanasthana, it is mentioned by the Acharya, the best of Daiva and Purushagara, when it comes together, it will lead to the long life and happiness. So we, uh, when we apply Vibhariya Tandravati in this context, we have to understand that that is the opposite of the same will leads to opposite lifespan and suga. That is uh, ap applying Vibhariya Tandravati, we can understand that when Hina Deva and Hina Purushagara comes together, then the person will have Hina Ayu and Hina Suga. That is nothing but Dukkha. Example uh, interpretation is from Chara Sutana in Annabana Vidya Tiaya. It is told that amongst the same species, that is, big, big sized animals are heavy or guru, and the smaller ones are opposite in nature. So, here, opposite or viparia, we have to understand that it refers to leku or light. Another Interpretation is again from Sutra Stana, that same chapter, Napanavidyatyaya. That is, the samskara can make a Guru Dravya to Laghu and opposite. That is, here, by applying the Vipariyatan Devdi, we can understand that uh, by samskara, how a Guru Dravya can be converted to Laghu, like that the same Laghu Dravya can be converted into Guru. Next example is in the Gulma Nidana, it is mentioned that the Nidana that I mentioned for Vadaja Gulma will not act as a Ubashaya. And those things that are opposite to that of the mentioned Nidana will act as a Ubashaya. So here we have to understand that with the few uh, Nidanas here I have taken, that is in the Gulma Nidana, the intake of Vada increasing Ahara after Jwara, Vamana, Virajana, Adisara, and other diseases, which leads to the dryness of body by a person and of Vadala Prakriti. So by applying Vipariya Tandrekti, that is intake of Vada Shamaga or Kavavriddhira Ahara, we act as the Ubashayaya Vadaja Kulma. This example is in Dirkan Jeevitiyam Adhyaya. Uh, it is mentioned that Samani is defined as Tulli Arthada, and its opposite as Vishesha. Hello, Doctor. I'm audible. Yes, Doctor, audible, Doctor. Okay. Uh, is my uh, screen visible? Not visible, Doctor. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one second, please. One second. Okay, doctor. Uh, 
uh, is it visible sir yes doctor screen is visible doctor okay um so okay mm, ah uh, that is in the sutra sana first chapter that is uh, indirka jeevitha madhya samane uh, defined as tulli artha and opposite as vishesha so here opposite that is of tulli artha we have to understand as atulli artha next is in vada guna it is explained as ruksha that is in the same chapter first chapter itself the guna as ruksha shida lagu sushala and vishada so here applying vipariya tandre we can understand that any dravya which possesses nikta ushna guru stula sthira and pichila can pacify the vada and similarly i have explained the gunas of pitta and kapha when explanation of arthapati so uh, arthapati is explained by uh, kautilya artha shastra vishnu dharma purana tantripti vichara so then arthad apadyate sakti edat edat avyatidam arthat apadyate sarthapati so we see the almost all the ajaya explanation of arthi is seemingly that is arthavatir nama itakirtam artha स्वार्थापति no problem doctor no problem please continue doctor shall i continue sir yes doctor please continue shall i so according to chakrapani susruda indu and arada the implication of unmentioned uh meaning from the meaning of a statement mentioned is arthapati so coming to the interpretation that is in chara sutra sthana 7th chapter adhi uh, should not be taken in night it's a statement given so uh, the reason why it is not taken because uh, the is abhishandi it can cause rodaroda and many other things are there so uh, when adhi should not be taken uh, as mentioned then that was sin of with or without the mentioned adjuvants doesn't arise at all in that case then what's the use of those adjuvants mentioned so here we have to apply the arthapati tantritti and understand that one should uh, that is the curd can be taken in day time only along with the adjuvants so once again that is here yukti is applied that is arthapati wherever arthapati is applied there we have to uh, apply the logic and understand that even in day time also uh, that can be taken in day time but if somebody is taking uh, curd in day time it should be eaten in uh, along with the uh, mentioned adjuvants and also it should not be taken in regular basis coming to the next example which is mentioned in sutra sthana 6 chapter uh, during winter season one who take habitually the preparation of gorasa ikshuvikara vasa taila navo uh, navodana that is newly, newly harvested rice and hot water during the winter his life span has never decreased so here by applying tandrivti uh, we have we can understand that the one who is not habituated the above mentioned preparations in winter his life span will decrease here also yukti is applied that is the the fact is that during the winter the acne will be intense or intishna so we have to go for a heavy foods guru ahara uh, srigdha ahara uh, and if that type of ahara if that person is not taking the intense acne can digest the dhadu leading to different vyadhis and also uh, leads to the reduction of eye 
So similarly, it can be understood that these food preparations should not be accustomed, accustomed in other seasons apart from winter. Next interpretation of Arthabhati, that is in Ashto Nindidi Adhyaya, uh, in the con where the context of Adhistaulya Chikilsa, one who desire to overcome ob obesity have to gradually indulge in more and more in Prajagara, Vyayama, Vyayava, etc. Uh, so here also by applying the Arthapati Tandravati, one can understand that one who want to gain weight uh, should reduce these regimens as much as possible. Uh, that is, mm, it does not mention directly, but uh, by applying the Yukti, we have to understand that. Next example. Uh, that is the interpretation of Arthavati. Uh, intake of Ushnahara gives satisfaction for in the context of Ahara uh, Vidhana, where Sikna Mashniyat, Ushna Mashniyat. So intake of Ushnahara, uh, which gives uh, satisfaction, uh, increases your rakni, and uh, the food which is taken will get digested quickly. These are the benefits of uh, taking Ushnahara. So from this given statement, by applying Arthapati, we can understand that uh, who is not taking Ushnahara uh, will not get the above mentioned effects. That is, if one doesn't take Ushnahara, his acne will be get decreased. The food will not uh, undergo digestion quickly. Uh, vada will move in down, downwards direction and Kaba will not be limited. So similarly, the Arthapati can be applied in uh, other Aharavidi, Vidana's like a Srikta, Srikta Mishniyat, Matravat Ashniyat, etc. Next application Arthavati is in the Janabuddha Dvamsani Adhyaya, uh, where uh, the Sutra, the Bo Sutra, that is in Charaga Vimanasan, third chapter, first uh, says that the medicinal herbs should be collected earlier to Janabuddha Dvamsa. Can effectively, effectively cure the disease caused by the Janavadodamsa. So, here also uh, we have to apply the Arthavati Tandrekti and understand that the herbs which is collected after the onset of uh, onset of Janavadodamsa may not be effective in curing diseases of Janavadodamsa because the herbs lose its medicinal values once affected by Janavadodamsa. So coming to the discussion, Arthabhati and Vibari are two Tandri Yuktis which are confused among each other in applying and understanding the Samhita. If the definition and examples um, cited by different authors are keenly observed, there is a stark difference between the two. Uh, in Arthabhati, a new meaning is derived from the given, given statement or it may be opposite to that of the given statement or partially opposite or giving only a new meaning. In Vibari, yeah, there is mentioning of what has to be understood in opposite. In Arthapati, there is an intense use of logic or yukti, where in Viparya, the quantum of logic used is less. In the application of Viparya, a word to word opposite details has to be taken, where in Arthapati, derivation of a new meaning based on the complete statement in the given circumstances to be taken. In the example, uh, one which is cited above under Arthapati, uh, if Vibari is applied, then it evolves that or the meaning what we get is the curd can be taken at a daytime without any further conditions applied to it. In that case, the Shastra Artha can go wrong leading to not solving the purpose of the Shastra. So come to the question, the is a methodical device for composition of a text and understanding the text Tandrayukti has to be applied in appropriate places to get the correct knowledge from the text as indebted by author. Some of the Tandrayuktis are similar to each other and thus may create confusion in the reader regarding application. However, there are specific differences of one Tandrayukti from other and the understanding of which will lead to the correct application. Though it seems to be similar, Arthavati and Vipari are different from each other as mentioned in the discussion. So thank you, one and all. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, sir.
next i would like to invite dr aishwari rs to conclude the session dr aishwari so thus we come up to the end of this presentation today and before winding up the session i would like to express my sincere gratitude to our respected panels for being with us till now and once again i would like to congratulate each and every participant for the wonderful for their wonderful performance